Chapter 561, Get Out. At this time, Liu Jiren did not talk back to Ah Hu anymore, she ran over quite obediently and held Ah Hu up as she said, oh, however, she was quite curious about who brother Fen was, whom Ah Hu had brought up many times, she thought, could it be that he came here to deliver the parcel, could brother Feng be a delivery man, Liu Jiren, who was quite curious, supported Ah Hu and walked to the entrance, as they neared the entrance, the door was pushed open by the housekeeper, there was a man behind him, who was dressed in clothes printed with the words three day delivery service, the man wore a hat and pulled it down much lower, at this time, holding a big paper box in his hands, he lifted his head, glimpsed at Ah Hu, and said with a smile at the corner of his lips, here is your parcel, please check the thing inside, as Ahu heard his words, he fixed his eyes and said, it's so heavy, kindly help me move it to my bedroom, all right, this way, please, consequently, Ahu put his arm around Liu Jiren's shoulder and led them to walk to the bedroom on the ground floor, Zhao Feng put a pair of specialized shoe sets on his shoes and followed behind them, Zhao Feng's behavior made Liu Jiren and the housekeeper confused, who could not help wondering, what the hell is going on, the housekeeper did not go with them, as Ahu led the way, being supported by Liu Jiren, Zhao Feng followed behind them and went into the bedroom on the side, it was not until they walked into the bedroom that Ahu stretched his arms out and walked forward one step by himself, he grimaced in pain and hugged Zhao Feng as he said, brother Feng, I have not seen you in several months, I've missed you so much, without the stuff that you asked somebody to send me last time, I would have given up early on, Zhao Feng took off his hat and hugged him back as he said, how did you get hurt like this, Ah Hu scratched his head as he said, I feel ashamed by that, a middle levels ninja pierced through my calf with his warrior sword, by the way, brother Feng, let me introduce her to you, she is, I know who she is, before Ah Hu finished his words, Zhao Feng stared at Liu Jiren and smiled gently as he said, how could I have never heard of Lady Liu, hello, Lady Liu, nice to meet you, I am Zhao Feng, Liu Jiren eyed Zhao Feng up and down curiously, stretched her hands out, and shook hands with him as she said, brother Feng, nice to meet you, thanks, after Zhao Feng greeted Liu Jiren briefly, he looked at Ai Hu and said, people keeping watch on you are surrounded outside in three directions, are they from the secretive killing organization, should I take them down first, Ahu waved his hands continuously as he said, no, no, number, don't do that, I am planning to trap a more influential figure, Zhao Feng put the helmet on his head again and said, all right, then I won't stay here long if you say so, this box is filled with the stuff that the boss exchanged, they are used to help you recover from the injuries, hold on, I have something to discuss with you, Ah Hu pulled Zhao Feng's arms directly and glimpsed at Liu Jiren's by his side as he said, well, eldest lady, kindly go out of my bedroom since we have something to discuss, oh, Liu Jiren was somewhat at a loss, after that, she turned around and walked out, as she closed the door, she saw Ah Hu taking his shirt off and mumbling something to brother Feng in a low voice at the same time, Liu Jiren patted her forehead and changed the look on her face slightly as she said, ouch, fortunately, more than a minute later, Zhao Feng walked out, said farewell to Liu Jiren, walked out of the door, and left, as for Ahu, it was not until two minutes later that he walked out, he had not been able to walk on his own a moment ago, however, he could walk forward lamely now, however, Liu Jiren did not pay attention to Ahu's good condition at all, instead, she ran to his side, the look in her eyes was somewhat peculiar, she stared at him closely and did not say anything at all, what's wrong? did I become more handsome? Liu Jiren's behavior made Ahu feel somewhat confused, Liu Jiren asked somewhat anxiously, ah, are you and him both gay? gee, gay? Ahu's eyes were much bigger as he glared at Liu Jiren, he raised his palms the next moment and smacked Liu Jiren's butt as the sound of peer rang out, ouch, what are you doing, 
that is how you will end up if you talk nonsense. As Li Jiren sensed that Ai Hu became somewhat energized again, she was relieved. The next morning, Ai Hu almost recovered from the injuries. They did not go out during the daylight. It was not until 8 pm that Ai Hu took Liu Jiren out and went to a nightclub, where they had quite a good time drinking. Liu Jiren was somewhat blushed, Ai Hu was somewhat drunken. Liu Jiren held Ai Hu's arms as she said, Can you drive? Let's walk home. Then let's walk home. Though Ai Hu was somewhat drunk, he was clear headed. However, Liu Jiren was somewhat drunk in a sense, who kept talking to Ai Hu and almost put herself on him. After they had been walking for more than 20 minutes, they had almost arrived at the villa quarter. As they walked past a crossing without a trace of human habitation, Liu Jiren fluttered and stood across from Ah Hu. She lifted her head slightly, stared at Ah Hu, and kept smiling foolishly. It seemed that Ah Hu had sensed something. He pulled his head back slightly and said, Eldest lady, you are drunk. Let's go home first you can have a rest after you get home. Number. Then you must promise me one thing. Liu Jiren smiled, as she stared at Ai Hu out of her drunkenness, she thought that Ai Hu became more handsome, it seemed that she was going to summon up her courage to say something. Ai Hu also felt somewhat moved while staring at Liu Jiren bailing in the dim light. What are you going to ask me? I want to ask. Liu Jiren pointed at the left side of Ai Hu's chest as she said, do you keep me in your heart or not? Ahu, who was somewhat hesitant, replied, I will tell you the answer after we arrive home. No way. Ahu clenched Liu Jiren's arms and said, Let's go home first. However, Liu Jiren ran forward two steps and stood in front of Ahu as she said solemnly, You need to tell me the answer right now. You only have two options, yes or no? As Ahu saw the expression on the eldest lady's face, he knew that she would cry as well as become paralytic if he gave her a negative answer. Ahu sighed in secret and thought, I should have stopped her from drinking so much. After that, he replied, yes, but, before he finished his words, he sensed that the eyes of the girl in front of him became bright and her head approached him closer and closer. Based on her speed, though Ahu could have avoided her dozens of times, he seemed to be frozen at this time. Though he had wanted to avoid her, he did not intend to, or to be more exact, he preferred to accept her from the bottom of his heart. A kiss occurred quietly at this crossing. However, before they kissed each other for a few more seconds, a figure walked out from a dark place amid the light of the street lamp. As he walked over, he clasped his hands and said in his crappy Chinese, an ambiguous love story between a bodyguard and his employer which is an intriguing one, you are also indulged in kissing each other, however, you can take that as the last kiss, as Ahu heard the words, his body froze, Liu Jiren, who had pulled herself away from Ahu, leaned by his side somewhat dizzily, out of her drunkenness, she was not afraid of the enemy in front of her at all, instead, she said noisily, why are you so annoying, too annoying, who employed you? I will pay you five times the salary, can you just get out of my way? Ahu stroked Liu Jiren's head and said, you are drunk, have some sleep first. After that, he patted her neck, Liu Jiren rolled her eyes and fell in Ahu's arms. After that, Ahu looked at the Muramazu in front of him, who was standing alone ten meters away, he held a sharp warrior sword in his hands, which had not been pulled out of the scabbard yet. As I who observed the situation, he said in a deep voice, you want to drag me here by yourself, don't you? Number. As I said last time, I would not be alone when I showed up next time, how could I be alone? The Muramaza, who seemed to be chatting with his friend, said calmly, they are all observing nearby, this time, six out of the eight middle leveled ninjas in the secretive killing organization are here to take care of you you won't die with regret. Ahu let out a sigh gently as he said, it is a pity that only six ninjas are here. Sensing that this Muramaza was in a good mood and was willing to chat with him, consequently, Ahu voiced his confusion, I have one question, back when you had been assigned the task the first time, 
Only the martial artists at the level of obvious strength and inward strength had shown up. Why did six of your middle levels ninjas show up in the end? I think it seems that abducting the eldest lady won't be of any practical use for you. Ahu wondered how much it had cost to employ six ninjas at one time. Ahu was quite curious about the reason, however, after he heard the Muramaza's explanation, he was somewhat astounded in an instant. That was because. Among the people sent to complete the mission the first time, the martial artist at the level of inward strength was a disciple of our master. He had conducted his mission for the first time then, later on. The task related to Lady Liu failed, we are here today to just kill you, you are doomed. The Muramaza finished his words in a resolute way, as he spoke. He looked pretty calm, however, as he finished his words, he pulled out the warrior sword with his right hand, glang. In an instant, an ambiguous killing intent permeated the area. It was not until this time that Ahu came to his senses and realized that the killer at the level of inward strength that he had seen the first time was somewhat powerful and influential. It did not occur to him that he would be their target in the end since they had all failed in the task of abducting the eldest lady. Ahu could not help smiling bitterly. Ahu shook his head, waved his hands, and said, Ask your five other brothers to show up. Fighting with you alone is not eye catching enough. Swish. The Muramaza placed his warrior sword horizontally, the light made Ahu squint slightly. Originally, he had thought that the Muramaza would directly launch the attack, however, he nodded and said, All right, since you are a man on the brink of death, I will make your wish come true. Tsek, Tsek. The Muramaza knocked the ground with the edge of the warrior sword twice. A black figure showed up on the dark street on Ahu's left side, who stood twenty meters away from Ahu quietly. All of a sudden, a cold light flashed across the right side, a dart was plugged into the ground in front of Ahu's legs. At the same time, a figure showed up on the right side. Ahu wondered, are there only two here? After that, he glimpsed back and saw two more instantly. The ninjas were indeed capable. They had approached him within twenty meters, which Ahu had not noticed at all. He glimpsed at the situation on the right side carefully and found that there was a figure sitting on a three meter high wall. Ahu shook his head all of a sudden and said, Since you are all here, it's time for the game to come to an end. Yes, the game will be over soon, however, rest assured that your employer will be by your side so that you won't be alone on the way to the underworld. As the Muramaza finished his words, he lifted his sword all of a sudden, intending to start fighting. Ha ha ha, you were right about one thing. Ahu held Liu Jiren in his arms and chuckled as he said, However, it is you who won't be lonely on your way to the underworld. Since you have helpers, why would you think that I wouldn't have any brothers? Ahu roared all of a sudden as he said, Come out, my iron tyrannosaurus beasts. Within an instant, the group including the Muramaza was so startled that they stood still and observed the surroundings warily. At the same time, as Zhao Feng heard what Ahu had said, the look on his face was dark. He, who was not far away, said, We won't come out first. Consequently, the whole situation became awkward. The six people including the Muramaza observed their surroundings warily. However, it was still quiet in the surrounding area, they thought, FK, we've been tricked. The Muramaza was angry, the look in his eyes was filled with flames. He stared at Ahu and said, after all, you are a heaven stage master, you performed this kind of low down trick several times and do not deserve the title of martial artist. Ahu complained continuously as he said, what the hell, it's real. My brothers are hiding in the surroundings. FK, I am going to kill you, Chinese pig. The Muramaza roared in anger, he jumped forward and lifted the warrior sword in his hands. In an instant, flashes of sword light shone on the battlefield. The other five ninjas approached Ahu quietly, who were ready to launch an attack. However, as the Muramaza was about to get within ten meters of Ahu, Ahu adjusted the look on his face. The look in his eyes was somewhat solemn, a smile crept up on the corner of his lips, he said, 
Look, they did come. It seemed he was telling a story of the wolf is coming, this time, the Muramaza did not believe what Ahu had said at all, he slashed at Ahu with the warrior sword in his hands. While facing this attack, Ahu did not avoid it at all, a sneer crept up on the corner of his lips. The Muramaza found Ahu's behavior quite strange, even if Ahu was willing to accept the result, he should avoid his attack subconsciously. Why was Ahu so confident? In the next moment, he figured out the reason. A white flashing light flashed over all of a sudden and hit his warrior sword directly. Zoom. The Muramaza felt his palms were shocked and become somewhat numb. He wondered since the attacker was that powerful, could it be that he was a Wudao Grand Master? In an instant, he paused and looked at all the crossings in all the directions. His five other team members also did the same. It seemed that nobody was around. However, whoosh. A figure walked out of the darkness, followed by a second one, a third one, and so on. The people showing up were numerous, it seemed that dozens of people were guarding at each crossing, the number of people mattered nothing to them at all, more importantly, the aura of all these people indicated that they were all chi strength masters, the Muramazas group members were startled, you. At first, the Muramaza had been somewhat at a loss, however, he came to his senses the next moment, intending to take advantage of these people's weak points, including Liu Jiren and Ahu, otherwise, they had nowhere to go once they were surrounded by multiple chi strength masters, the Muramaza turned his head back, stared at Ahu, smiled ghastly, and stabbed at him as he pulled his warrior sword out, however, it did not occur to him that Ahu had not avoided his attack at all, consequently, the look in the Muramaza's eyes was cold, he stabbed at both Ahu and Liu Jiren at the same time. Poof! As he heard the sound indicating the warrior sword pierced through a body, he was incredibly happy. After he had launched his first successful attack, he said in a hurry, let's go. As he spoke, he ran to the three meter high wall on the flank, tiptoed up to it, and threw himself over. As he traversed the wall, he could see there was another three meter high wall, which was dozens of meters away in front of him, he did not have time to ponder it and continued running forward, however, after he traversed across one, there was another one in front of him, he found it somewhat shocking and thought, could it be the so called ghost straying or illusions? Yes, exactly, it was something like an illusion, which was a kind of quite intriguing formation. Although it was a scene in the Muramaza's eyes, in reality, however, Ahu had stood on the side while holding Liu Jiren in his arms. Amid everybody's stares, the Muramaza lowered his head all of a sudden, spinning around in a one meter diameter circle quickly. All of a sudden, he raised his head, stabbed his warrior sword forward, and stabbed at his team members. Following that, he spun around to where he had been again. As Zhao Feng, who had been at the eastern crossing, watched this scene, he smiled bitterly and said, Uncle Wang, your arrival renders ours negligible, originally, we hoped to practice our fighting skills with these middle leveled ninjas, ha ha. Wang Ming scratched his head, chuckled, and said, it did not occur to me that these middle leveled ninjas would be so vulnerable, they could not even stand the illusionary demon formation, which I had just figured out they are simply too ordinary, I thought they were quite amazing masters, in this case, among all the Japanese ninjas, only the upper leveled ninjas are more amazing, Zhao Feng added, since the upper leveled ninjas start from the grand master early stage, of course, they are amazing, however, there are fewer of them, the number of Japanese warriors is quite impressive, however, there are not many ninjas. He had got all of these pieces of news from Instructor Liu, it is indeed somewhat easy to deal with them, after you are done with them, you can also enjoy some vacation time. Sun Ming smiled, looked around, and said, if you have family members, you should go home to celebrate the spring festival, if you don't have any family members, Mount New Moon will be your home. What Zhao Feng had said made everybody on the scene feel warm hearted, however, if it were the boss who had said so, the effect probably would be much better, however, 
They all knew that their boss was the kind of person who focused more on actions instead of words. They also knew well that their boss had sent them medicinal pellets as gifts in several batches. After Zhao Feng finished his words, he stared at Ai Hu and said, You come over here. Ai Hu held Liu Jiren in his arms, ran over, and said, What's wrong, Brother Feng? Zhao Feng, who found Ai Hu's situation a headache for him, asked, What's wrong with you? Why did you kiss Chairman Liu's daughter? He did have his considerations. If it were Liu Qingfeng who had witnessed the scene, it would be unknown how the situation would go. Liu Qingfeng might have chased Ah Hu around the street while holding a sword in his hands, intending to kill him. However, others tried their best to stop themselves from bursting into laughter. Ah Hu, you are amazing. Elder Meng gave him a thumbs up and said, You have taken eldest Lady Liu down quietly, so amazing, you completed the task earned the money, and hit on the girl, you have three gains at one time. Impressive, as long as I who exerted his charm, even the eldest lady would be attracted by him, they had kissed each other so attentively in front of everybody a moment ago. Dot. As I who heard everybody's teasing, the corner of his lips trembled slightly, he smiled awkwardly and said, she drank too much, too much. Right at this moment, the fighting in the middle of the crossing was in full swing. The Muramaza stood together with the other four ninjas. Gradually, only the Muramaza was still alive. The look on his face was somewhat lonely and dejected. It seemed that he was the only one who had survived the tangled fight. As the saying goes, masters are usually lonely. The next moment, his body shook and he spat out a mouthful of blood. The look in his eyes became clear again. After he saw the scene clearly, he staggered, his complexion was as white as a sheet. He got down on one knee and started to feel fragile because of the various injuries on his body. He stuck his warrior sword on the ground and looked at Ahu in front of him in the eyes as he asked with difficulty, why? At this time, Ahu retrieved his playful expression, he raised his eyebrows slightly, walked forward a few steps, stared at the Muramaza, and said emphatically, that was because there was no way you could imagine how powerful my backer was, let alone the so-called eight middle-leveled ninjas, in my boss's eyes, even the secretive killing organization is nothing at all, by the way, before you die, I can tell you the name of our boss, he is, Zhang Han Yang, as the Muramaza heard this name, he was at a loss at first, after that, he became distracted and opened his eyes wide gradually, a hint of shock slipped from his eyes, in the end, thousands of words were transformed into a mouthful of blood, which he directly spat out. Chapter 562, Arriving in Linhai Though people in the Japanese martial arts world probably did not know Jiang Han Yang well, people in the secretive killing organization did pay great attention to what was going on in the martial arts world in various regions. In the recent half a year, they had heard of merciless Jiang Han Yang's reputation a lot of times. Jiang Han Yang had annihilated He Qingxian in seconds, smashed the Li family, and surpassed various talents and invincible grandmasters from the world lit. They knew every great deed of Jiang Han Yang quite well and exclaimed with emotion that another great figure had shown up in Hua Nation. However, it did not occur to them that six middle levels ninjas had been sent to kill the undercharge of Jiang Han Yang. If all of the eight middle levels ninjas were here to compete with Jiang Han Yang in internal strength, the scene would be quite eye catching. After the Muramaza spat out the blood, he seemed to be dispirited. He fixed his eyes on Ahu and opened his mouth to speak in a hoarse voice, who seemed to be saying, I am pretty regretful about what I did previously. I should have kept hunting you a few days ago so that you would not have had the chance to contact your helpers. However, at that time, how could he have imagined that the bodyguard could find such powerful helpers? Originally, Ahu had been a fish on the chopping block, it did not occur to anyone in the Muramazas group that their group members would be the fishes on the chopping block. At the last moment, the Muramaza could not hang on anymore, his body shook and he fell on the ground. All right. As Wang Ming observed the scene, he waved his right hand, in an instant, 
several flames burned up the bodies of the Muramas as group members. After that, Wang Ming said, I am going back to the wrong clan, as for you, you should attend to your chores, for example, going home to celebrate the spring festival and having fun. Zhao Feng, did you know that Han and Ziyan will be here tomorrow? Zhao Feng replied, Yes, Ah Hu and I will pick them up tomorrow, everything has been arranged, Mom and Master will take Meng Meng to have fun for two days first, I have prepared everything, including the hotels, ha ha. Wang Ming shook his head smilingly and said, You, you are quite considerate. Wang Ming appreciated Zhao Feng very much, who could handle everything quite well, including the daily life of cold mortal school, commuting, and various chores, admittedly, Han did have a good taste for talents. Zhao Feng replied smilingly, Uncle Wang, you've given me excessive praise. After that, he clasped his hands and said, then everybody should disperse here, Brother Feng, goodbye, Uncle Wang, goodbye, a lot of them bade farewell to each other and left in twos and threes since they had some work to do later or tomorrow. After Wang Ming had been standing there for a few minutes, he also said goodbye and left. The reason why he, Rong Jiaxin, and Wang Ya had come here in advance was that Jiang Han had not been rest assured, though the people brought by Zhao Feng were awesome, if there was one Wu Dao Grandmaster among the counterparts, a lot of casualties might be thus caused. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Consequently, Zhang Han had found Wang Ming the day before, they came here one day in advance. In the end, there were only eight members of the security group, including Zhao Feng, Elder Meng, Leng Yi, and Ahu, who was holding Liu Jiren in his arms. As Ahu saw the eight members staring at him peculiarly, he scratched his head awkwardly and said, Well, Brother Feng, after I send her home, how about we drink together? Okay. Zhao Feng grimaced, led the way, and walked to the villa district of the Liu family. Before Zhao Feng had walked far away, he could not help saying, Ahu, what you did caught me off guard. Ahu replied dully, Brother Feng. There is nothing between us. She was drunk and we just kissed, that's all. He did not know what he should do since he also liked Liu Jiren somewhat in secret, however. The reason why Chairman Liu had employed him was to protect his daughter. Why did he make Chairman Liu's daughter his girlfriend? As Ahu pondered over it, he felt somewhat embarrassed. He he. As Leng heard his words, she sneered and said, Just kissed, you say it in such a simple way, shameless. Ahu glared at her angrily and said, Why do I become shameless? Leng ridiculed him and did not say anything further, she simply ignored Ahu's glare. Zhao Feng asked, Ahu, well, did Lady Liu like you first? Ahu replied, How could I take the initiative to hit on eldest lady? It was back when I had just arrived here that she mocked me cynically, I could not help teaching her a few lessons. Ouch. Anyway. I can't explain it clearly to you. Zhao Feng raised his eyebrows slightly and said, Then do you like her or not? I. Ahu lowered his head, glimpsed at Liu Jiren in his arms, and pondered the question solemnly. It was not until he had been silent for five seconds that he replied in a dull voice, Yes. Zhao Feng asked again, Are you sure? Ahu paused his steps slightly, he remembered how he had accepted Liu Jiren who had been lively in front of him a moment ago, without any resistance at all, consequently, he nodded heavily and said, yes, I am sure, well, Zhao Feng let out another sigh, patted Ahu on his shoulders, and said, then that's it, speaking of every member of our security group, nobody's social status is inferior, nobody should be mentally burdened, even though the one you are going to face is Chairman Liu, if you do mean it, then you should not have any misgivings at all, however, if you just want to have fun, then you should give up this thought as soon as possible, Ahu replied, all right, I got it, after that, he lowered his head, glimpsed at Liu Jiren, and smiled faintly as he said, I do have feelings for her, after Ahu figured out his thoughts and heard a series of words from Zhao Feng, he became somewhat honest with himself, he held Liu Jiren in his arms directly, walked into the villa, 
and placed her in the bedroom on the second floor, as I who walked to the entrance, he said to the housemaid in the villa, get her changed, all right, the housekeeper responded and walked into the room, Ahu turned his head back and glimpsed at Liu Jiren, after that, he went down to the ground floor, the group of people including Zhao Feng was waiting at the entrance, the housekeeper was standing in the living hall on the ground floor, as he saw Ahu going back to his room and taking out a small suitcase, he was at a loss, after that, he walked forward in a hurry and said, Mr. Ahu, what are you doing? My task here is over, I am going back to my team. Ahu smiled and said, Chairman Liu will be home soon, moreover, the secretive killing organization probably won't show up anymore in the future, you can also take a rest. Well, all right. The housekeeper smiled bitterly and walked by Ahu's side. It was not until the housekeeper walked out of the entrance of the villa and saw Ahu and a group of people walking out that he shook his head slowly, he had not asked if Ahu would come back or any other questions, originally, he had thought Ahu had left because he had completed his task this time, however, it did not occur to anybody that the whole villa would be in commotion at 9 o'clock the next morning, Liu Jiren was dressed in a short sleeve shirt and jean shorts, before she managed to take care of her hair, she asked the housemaid about Ahu's information casually, upon learning that Ahu had left, she ran downstairs in a hurry and said, where is Ahu, where is he, where is he? The housekeeper responded, Mr. Ahu has left, when did he leave, why did he leave, why did he just leave without even notifying me, are you lying to me? Liu Jiren became somewhat moody in an instant, it seemed that her heart had been pricked by a needle, facing the eldest lady's continuous questions. The housekeeper organized his thoughts and replied three seconds later, Mr. Ahu left in the middle of the night last night, according to him. His task here was complete, since eldest lady had been drunk and sleeping, it was not until he sent you back to the bedroom that he left. I don't believe your words. Liu Jiren exclaimed, her eyes were filled with tears, she ran back to her bedroom, picked up her cell phone directly and started to call Ahu, the number you dialed can't be reached temporarily. The gentle reminder from the other side of the phone made Liu Jiren feel more anxious, she kept calling Ahu many times, however, it was still the same reminder, Liu Jiren became moodier, I don't believe it. She shook her lips heavily and tried her best to not burst out crying, however, after she ran out of the entrance of the villa, her tears kept dropping down. Just at that moment, a black Mercedes-Benz S600 stopped by Liu Jiren's side and honked three times, beep, beep, beep. However, it seemed that Liu Jiren had not heard the sound at all, who simply paid no attention to it, beep, beep, beep. The car honked once again, feeling somewhat angry. Liu Jiren turned around and saw that it was Ahu who had opened the door and got out of the car. Ah! Liu Jiren opened her eyes wider, she ran at Ahu with quick paces all of a sudden, jumped into his arms directly, and thumped his chest with her tender hands as she said, You bastard, you ran off after you took my first kiss away. Liu Jiren could not help crying. Ahu found her behavior funny and did not know whether he should laugh or cry, he thought in secret, it was you who took the initiative to kiss me, wasn't it? However, he knew that he should not mention this topic right now, all right, all right, I am here now. Ahu patted Liu Jiren on her back and said, don't cry anymore, you are a weepy cat now, no, I prefer crying, the eldest lady acted willfully again. It was not until she had been crying for two minutes that she withdrew her head and glimpsed at Ahu, after that, she smiled through tears and said, why are you dressed in a suit, are you here to have a blind date with me, you are dressed so formally, h m p h, well, don't be narcissistic, this is my work uniform, Ahu patted her head gently as he said, get in the car, my boss and madam will be here later. Brother Feng and I are going to the airport to pick them up. Ah, picking up your boss? Liu Jiren was startled and said, Number, I am not dressed up yet, 
I won't go there with you unless I've done my makeup. Ahu eyed her up and down as he said, You don't need to dress up since your current look is okay, let's go, get in the car. Consequently, Ahu forced Liu Jiren to sit in the passenger seat and did not pay attention to the vengeful look in her eyes at all. After that, he started the car directly and rapidly drove out. It was not until Liu Jiren arrived at the entrance of the residential quarter that she found out there were eight more Mercedes Benz S600S by the road. After Ahu drove out, the motorcade followed behind him and headed for the Linhai International Airport together. Liu Jiren was indeed somewhat curious about Ahu's mysterious boss. However, since she had not done any makeup, she bought some stuff, including a scarf, as she passed by a cosmetics store. After that, she dressed herself up in the car. Fortunately, Ahu had been driving quite stably. After they arrived at the airport, they waited there for 10 minutes. After that, they saw Jiang Han's family members walking out of the arrival hall. Jiang Han picked up a big suitcase, on which there was another small suitcase, which was Meng Meng's. Jiang Han held Meng Meng's left hand with his right hand and Xian held Meng Meng's right hand. They drew the onlooker's attention continuously. Moreover, Xian was wearing sunglasses and a mask. Even so, many people still looked at her dubiously. That was because as Chinese new voice came to an end, Xian's popularity was almost the same as it was during its peak, and it had risen rapidly. People had their temperaments and aura fields. After Liu Jiren met Ahu's boss, who looked so young, she was at a loss at first. After that, she became nervous, it seemed as if she were going to meet her boyfriend's parents, that was because Ahu had told her about how important his boss had been to him previously. Boss. The group of people including Zhao Feng greeted Jiang Han, they, who were all dressed in black suits, led the way and walked outside, which made many people pause their steps and observe the situation. Chapter 563, It is a good thing. Usually, if one was escorted by several bodyguards, it was clear that they were either rich or powerful. Consequently, more and more people noticed what had been going on here. Since it was the spring festival rush during this period, many people came and went. Several people among the crowd who had sharp eyes stared at Xian for a while. A woman exclaimed all of a sudden, Ah, Xian, ah, goddess. Dot. The next moment, she ran at the group in front of her who was dozens of meters away from her. Dot. Xian. As more people looked over, they saw a series of characteristics of Xian, including her profile, figure, long hair, height, and so on. After that, many people were shocked. Somebody said, she is Xian. Dot. Following that, those following the trend made a commotion in a low voice as they said, what the hell? She is Xian. Let's go over there to see her quickly. Dot. Consequently, dozens of people from all sides swarmed in Jiang Han's direction. The official workers of the airport were startled. If a stampede were to occur, the consequences would be immeasurable. However, before the people swarmed over Jiang Han's side, they saw nearly 100 people on the other side, who walked a few steps forward hurriedly. After that, they slowed down and lingered around where they had been while clutching at each other. Soon, five seconds later, Zhao Feng's group members walked out of the airport. Xian had lowered her head slightly, it did not occur to her that she would be recognized. Amid everybody's stare, the people in the front walked through the door of the airport. What they found quite peculiar was that the woman who was suspected to be Xian held a child by her side, while by the child's side, there was a young man, who had turned his head back and glimpsed at the scene when he had walked through the door of the airport. After that, a faint smile had crept up on the corner of his lips, then he turned his head back and left. This scene made many people present feel somewhat confused. Is she Xian? Is she? The woman was holding a child. How could she be Xian? It is clear they are a rich couple. She must be. I saw her profile which is the same as that of Xian, oh no, it is her, moreover, didn't you see the guest lists of the New Year's party in Linhai City, Xian is among the guests, 
it must be her, no way, Ziyan is not married yet, what the hell is going on, everyone on the scene was discussing fervently, feeling at a loss, at the same time, they all wondered who it was that had stopped them, after they had turned their heads back, they had not been able to see who the people were, the whole situation was chaotic, though they could not figure it out, they headed for their respective destinations under the official workers guidance, after the group of people including Zhao Feng walked out of the airport, they led the way and walked to the motorcade, Ziyan patted her chest, let out a long sigh, and said, whoa, they did recognize me, which was surprising, Zhang Han chuckled and said, some people's eyes are pretty acute, they can recognize people easily. Meng Meng lifted her head and asked, well, why did they call Mama's name, was it because Mama is a superstar? Ziyan was dressed in black leisure trousers, a thin white hoodie, hunting cap, and mask, as for Meng Meng, she was dressed in light pink trousers, a white coat, and small sized hat, who had dressed herself up quite delicately. Zhang Han was dressed in a suit of black leisure clothing, having dressed quite casually. After Zhang Han heard Meng Meng's words, he smiled and said, Yes, because your mother is a celebrity. Meng Meng asked in confusion, Why did they all want to run over to our side? Zhang Han replied, Because they all wanted to see your mother in person, take a photo together with her, or take her picture at a closer distance. Meng Meng replied as she stared in front, oh. It was unknown what she was mumbling about, however, Liu Jiren, who had been following in the rear and holding Ahu's arms, was hesitant, she opened her eyes much bigger, Liu Jiren stared at Ahu and asked in a low voice hurriedly, is, is she Ziyan, dot. Ahu straightened a finger at her to hush her as he said, shh. At the same time, he nodded. After that, Zhao Feng walked to the second car, put the luggage in, and opened the door to the back row seats. Zhang Han's family members sat in the back row of seats. Zhao Feng walked to the first car. Ahu was in the second car and Liu Jiren sat in the passenger seat somewhat anxiously. As Zhang Han and Ziyan saw the scene, they eyed Ahu and Liu Jiren up and down several times. That was because Li Jiren had held Ahu's arms a moment ago. Ziyan smiled gently and asked, Ahu, is this beauty your girlfriend? Ahu swallowed nervously, smiled awkwardly, and said, Well, she is Chairman Liu's daughter. Dot. Hi hi hi. Li Jiren became quite nervous instantly, the look on her face was quite rigid. She turned around and said dryly, Hello, everyone, I am Li Jiren. Dot. Ziyan replied, Hello. Meng Meng waved her tender hands cutely and said, Well, nice to meet you, sister. As Li Jiren saw the little girl's delicate face and cute expression, she, having been nervous before, felt somewhat relieved. Zhang Han nodded and said, Hello. However, after that, he stared at Ahu, who was nervous all of a sudden. Dot. Boss. Well. I find it somewhat difficult to bring it up, however, I. As Ahu was thinking about what he was going to say, Liu Jiren, who could not control herself anymore at this moment, stared at Zhang Han and summoned up her courage as she said, Boss, I like Ahu and want to be with him, can you please let him go and give him to me? Dot. Zhang Han found it somewhat funny and did not know whether he should laugh or cry as he said, Oh. Okay. However, Ziyan stared at Ahu somewhat peculiarly and thought, how could Ahu hit on the eldest lady successfully while completing a mission? Her thought was the same as that of others. Dot. No. Ahu shook his head and said, Boss, I also like her. We got drunk yesterday and kissed, kissed each other. I want to be responsible for her. As for this, before Ahu finished his words, Zhang Han said amusedly, I am not a tiger, you don't have to be so nervous, since you like each other, you should try to be in a relationship, it's a good thing, dot. Ahu said, however, as for Chairman Liu. The look on his face was somewhat awkward, even Ziyan pursed her lips and smiled, who found the situation quite interesting. At this moment, Liu Jiren said confidently, 
it's okay, I will deal with my father, it's not like that. Ahu drove as he said, it's just that I feel somewhat guilty, I had come to your side as a bodyguard, however, I ended up getting together with my employer's daughter, Liu Jiren refuted him as she said, it's okay, my father will understand, yes, I agree, it's okay, Chairman Liu probably will feel happy to have such a son-in-law like you, rest assured that if you want to be with each other, just do it, however, Zhang Han was silent for a while then said, before the engagement, you should pay attention to how you should get along with each other properly, I will talk with Chairman Liu later on, Zhang Han had almost figured out the reason why Zhao Feng had assigned Ahu and Liu Jiren to drive for him, which was to test the thought on his side or see if he could do something to convince Liu Qingfeng, since Ahu was not an outsider, of course, Zhang Han would help him with that, thanks boss, then I will be relieved. Ahu became merry in an instant and did not look dull at all. As Li Jiren heard Ahu's laughter, she was also relieved. However, she was more curious about the identity of the boss and wondered who on earth he was. Dot. Liu Jiren thought, the boss is young as well as handsome, most importantly, he is Xian's husband and they have a child, oh my god, this is such a piece of breaking news. However, since it was the first time she had seen the boss and madam, she, being somewhat nervous, sat in the passenger seat obediently, Meng Meng, who was by her parents side, seemed quite happy as she looked around continuously and said, Pa Pa, is this place, this place Lin Hai City, dot. Zhang Han replied, yes, this is Lin Hai City. Meng Meng stared at Zhang Han quite expectantly and said, then is there any place to have fun here, I want to play with you and ma ma, pa pa, of course there is. Zhang Han smiled and replied, there is a Disneyland here, whose space is vaster, we may not finish visiting it within one day, wow. Meng Meng's eyes brightened. Xian stretched her hands out and pinched Meng Meng's tender cheek as she said, we will take you there this afternoon. Great, great. Meng Meng was so happy in an instant, she asked eagerly, when will the afternoon come? Xian replied, it's just 10 o'clock now, we will go back to the hotel to have a rest later, after that, we will have lunch outside, after lunch, we will go to Disneyland, I see. Meng Meng lay on the seat merrily and sang songs gently, after they arrived at the hotel, where they had booked a row of luxurious suites. The group of people including Zhao Feng stayed by their side. On the way to the hotel, Zhao Feng had driven Liang Mengkai, Liang Hao, and Zhang Li, who had chatted with each other quite happily. Dot. After everybody put down their luggage in the hotel and had a rest, Ahu took Liu Jiren with him and leisurely walked to the suite where Zhao Feng was staying. At this moment, Zhao Feng's suite was quite lively, where six to seven people were sitting. Ahu said complacently, boss agreed, ha ha, I have a little female fan now. Who is? Liu Jiren intended to talk back to him subconsciously, however, as she sensed there were many people here, she said smilingly, I am brother Ahu's little female fan, everybody, I am Liu Jiren. Their behaviors astounded many people on the scene, even Zhang Li, Liang Hao, and Liang Meng Kai were astonished. Zhang Li felt somewhat confused and said, Liu Jiren, could it be, Ahu, you are in a relationship with Chairman Liu's daughter, aren't you? Liang Hao nodded and said, this. This is quite materialistic. Liang Meng Kai put her tongue out and said, it may be another love story. Zhao Feng, who was quite curious about his master's attitude, asked, what did my master say? Well, you should all open your eyes wide and listen attentively to me. Ahu raised his head and said loudly, Boss said that Chairman Liu would feel happy to have me as his son-in-law, as for the issue between me and eldest lady, he will help me discuss it with Chairman Liu. Zhao Feng gave him a thumbs up and said, it's a done deal. The others all nodded and echoed, yes, a done deal. However, Liu Jiren felt somewhat curious and wondered whether the boss would be that convincing, she knew well how much her father loved her, 
she even intended to fight hard with her father on a long-term basis, however, based on their reaction, it seemed that as long as their boss was willing to talk to her father, he would agree, dot. She was quite doubtful and thought, is it true, dot. As for Ahu, he thought of another thing as he patted his forehead and said, well, brother Feng, by the way, I have another problem. Zhao Feng asked, what is it? Ahu explained in detail, I offended the second young master of the Ning family, Ning Zhangqi, whose strength is much more powerful than mine, his master is the old master of the Gu family, Gu Dong Lai, who is also quite awesome, then he asked me tomorrow too. After Zhao Feng heard him out, the look on his face was somewhat solemn, in the end, it was not until he had been silent for five seconds that he stood up and said, come on, let's turn to my master. Dot. Chapter 564, Arrogant Opponent. Before arriving in Lunhai, Zhao Feng had collected information about various forces and places in that city, he had heard of the Ning family and also knew the Gu family, after all. The latter had long been famous, being the number one family in Lunhai. Ahu was in trouble with Ning Zhangqi, the second young master of the Ning family, which was also troublesome for Zhao Feng, he couldn't make up his mind and decided to ask Jiang Han's advice, brother Feng, will it work, maybe it would be better for me to fight with him tomorrow, don't you think, Ahu scratched his head and said, that's not the case, said Zhao Feng as he shook his head slightly, let's go, if Ahu joined in the open competition, the rules had to be decided by Ning Zhangqi because that was his home field, Zhao Feng knew that Ahu couldn't defeat Ning Zhang, and tomorrow's outcome would be unpredictable, what if Ahu wanted to quit during the competition, Ning Zhangqi wouldn't let him go, Zhao Feng wouldn't be so nervous if it was just an ordinary martial arts competition, he was worried that the other side wanted to kill Ahu, for Ahu's safety, Zhao Feng intended to adopt a safer solution, Eldest lady, please sit here for a while, brother Feng and I will go to ask our boss, said Ahu after some thought. Okay. Liu Jiren nodded and sat on the sofa. Ahu and Zhao Feng walked out of the room and went to Jiang Han's room on the far left. After a few steps, Ah Han asked as something suddenly came to mind, brother Feng, they don't know that I'm a member of Meng Meng security, or who our master is, well. I can call them to suggest that both sides make a compromise, when they hear the name of our boss, they should also choose to solve this problem peacefully, Ah who knew that Jiang Han was would be visiting for the holidays, and that the new year was coming soon, he didn't want to cause trouble for Jiang Han, hearing Ah Hu's suggestion, Zhao Feng thought about it and then nodded, sure, it was okay for them to join in the open competition but they wouldn't have a peaceful spring festival if things turned into something more and more serious, Zhao Feng knew that master didn't like trouble, so he agreed to Ahu's suggestion, okay, I'll ask their phone number, Ahu turned to open the door of the previous room, then waved and called, eldest lady, come out for a while, Liu Jiren approached them with light steps, what's the matter, do you have the phone number of that second young master of the Ning family, Ahu asked directly, I don't, but I can ask someone else, okay, please do, as she spoke, Liu Jiren used WeChat to contact her friends, two minutes later, she shook her head and said, no, they don't have second child Ning's phone number, but I can get Ningxi Ocean's, Ningxi Ocean, okay, Ahu slightly raised his eyebrows, being honest, he didn't want to talk with that playboy, Liu Jiren asked her friend for Ningxi Ocean's number, dialed it directly and handed her phone to Ahu, hello, who is that? Soon, there was Ningxi Ocean's frivolous voice on the phone, I'm Ahu, Liu Jiren's bodyguard, and I want to have a talk with Ning Zhangqi. Ahu replied without hesitation, you, damn it, are you calling to beg my brother's pardon, are you daydreaming, my brother is next to me, but he won't give you the chance, swish, Ahu's face darkened, if that kid said that to his face, Ahu would have definitely beaten him, telling himself to be patient, Ahu replied with a low voice, 
Tell your brother that I'm Jiang Han Yang's follower and a member of Meng Meng security in Hong Kong, perhaps he should reconsider the matter and give me an answer in the evening, screw you and your security company, you're just a disgusting bodyguard, ah whose loudspeaker was on, so all three people in the room heard that, as soon as that sentence was uttered, the blood vessels on ah whose forehead twitched, Zhao Feng's face darkened and Li Jiren clenched her teeth and shouted, you shut up. Ningxi Ocean didn't hear it, apparently he had left his cell phone on the coffee table. Ah who could hear him faintly, brother, the bodyguard of the Liu's girl called me, he was like a fool, saying that he is from Meng Meng security and a follower of Jiang Han Yang. At this time, Ningxi Ocean and a dozen people were eating at the table, Ning Zhangqi sat in the master's seat, like the moon surrounded by stars. Ningxi Ocean slapped his mobile phone on the table at will and said something to his brother, Ning Zhangqi was surprised, who? Meng Meng security and Jiang Han Yang, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Ningxi Ocean was shocked and wondered if Jiang Han Yang was really a powerful man, Ning Zhangqi frowned, he rarely had such expression on his face, he hesitated for a while, and then made up his mind, it surprised me, but I won't forgive him until Hang Han Yang begs me, although Hang Han Yang is powerful, my master is even better than him, besides, we are in Lin Hai, our home, and I must teach him a lesson here, I'll show the public what a larger strength gap there is between Jiang Han Yang's men and Grand Master Gu's disciples, hearing Ning Zhangqi's words, the others at the table all echoed him, someone who was unfamiliar with the martial arts world even boasted, does he think he is famous? No matter who he is, he must behave himself in Lin Hai, he's nothing when compared with our second brother. Ningxi Ocean was so excited that he shouted, just beat him, come on, cheers. After a drink, Ningxi Ocean remembered that he had not hung up his cell phone. He picked up the phone and found it had been hung up. Did I hang it up myself? He wasn't sure but he wasn't interested. He couldn't wait to see that bodyguard being abused the day after, there were two people at the table who didn't say anything, do they know they are talking about merciless Jiang, isn't it a bit reckless for second child Ning to do this, either he was reckless or he had his own ideas, on the other side, Zhao Feng, Ahu and Liu Jiren were all enraged, damn it, I don't want to make trouble, but does he think I'm afraid, Ahu clenched his fist, let's go. Zhao Feng frowned and walked back expressionlessly, Ah Hu picked up the pace and walked side by side with Zhao Feng, while Li Jiren followed them silently, I'll inform my master, said Zhao Feng and knocked at the door, which was opened by Ziyan, Mom, I want to talk with my master, coming, Ziyan nodded and pushed the door open, Ziyan didn't wear a cap or sunglasses and her beautiful face stunned Li Jiren, who came into close contact with Ziyan for the first time, wow, sister Ziyan, you are pretty, dot you look more beautiful than on TV, Liu Jiren couldn't help exclaiming, you are also beautiful, Ziyan smiled, after entering the room, they saw Meng Meng playing with a doll on the sofa, accompanied by Jiang Han, they have something to tell you, said Ziyan, Jiang Han nodded and stood up, follow me, he went to the living room, when he was about to leave, Meng Meng stretched out her legs to reach the slippers under the sofa, at the same time, the little girl tooted her mouth and replied, okay, Ziyan burst out laughing, she quickly walked to hold Meng Meng and pinched her little face, they have something to do, let's play games here, eh, Meng Meng was stunned, Jiang Han smiled and entered the living room, Liu Jiren, who finally went in, closed the door, is it still about you too? Jiang Han casually sat on the sofa and looked at Ahu and Liu Jiren, no. Zhao Feng shook his head and said, it's Ahu's business, the Ning family is one of the top three local families and they have a son named Ningxi Ocean. Zhao Feng told Jiang Han the matter briefly, while Ahu was responsible for the supplementary explanation, seeing that Jiang Han remained calm after hearing the story, Ahu took over the topic and said, I didn't want to deepen the conflict, so I told them who I was, but Ningxi Ocean cursed me after that, 
Just as Ahu was trying to explain, Zhao Feng helped him to continue. He remained arrogant on the phone even after hearing your name, it seems that he wants to prove that Gudong Lai is more powerful than you. Zhao Feng and Ahu were silent. Liu Jiren looked at Jiang Han with eager eyes, wondering how the powerful man would deal with this matter. Will he admit defeat in the face of the Ning and the Gu families? He will, right? Liu Jiren knew that both families were more powerful than the Liu family. They were very competitive in terms of assets, social relations, power, supporters and influence in the martial arts world. The man under 30 in front of her was too young. His strength and experience were limited. She didn't expect that young man to be so calm. I see, let's go there tomorrow, what stage is second child Ning at? Jiang Han asked, he's also at the heaven stage but much closer to be a martial arts grandmaster, I'm not his match. Ahu felt embarrassed, don't worry, stretch out your hand. Jiang Han smiled, okay. Ahu complied while still confused. All of a sudden, two gemstones appeared in Jiang Han's right hand, they were soon pulverized and the powder flew to Ahu's hand, it began to glow, making two patterns above Ahu's palm, hiss. Suddenly, Ahu felt a pain in his palm, and then two strands of blood flew upward from his hand, the blood was absorbed by the two patterns, which gradually turned into a light red color, Liu Jiren's eyes and mouth were wide open as she witnessed the scene, ten seconds after the two patterns appeared, all of a sudden, two objects appeared in Ahu's hand, while the two patterns disappeared, you can use them for a short time, so feel free to fight against them. Jiang Han said with a smile, wow, it's so cool, thank you, boss, ha ha ha. Ahu burst out laughing, the two holy level weapons are so cool, are you relieved now? Zhao Feng asked with a smile, yes, of course. Ahu kept nodding his head, after a while, he asked worriedly, where shall I put them, I cannot always keep them with my hands, brother Feng, take it, this is for you. Zhao Feng took out an emerald ring from his pocket and handed it to Ahu. Ahu took the ring and immediately dripped a drop of blood on it. After studying how to use it for a while, Ahu placed both the demon dancing sword and the golden armor inside. Then the three of them left the room. Ahu was still feeling excited. Damn it, they are so arrogant, I'm going to beat them up tomorrow. He swore. Chapter 565 the gathering in Mount Dongxing. After Zhao Feng, Ahu and Miss Liu left, Jiang Han returned to where Meng Meng was and sat on the sofa to watch the cartoon. He wasn't worried about how Ahu would perform in the next day at all. Although Ahu could only use 60% of the demon dancing sword and the golden armor's power, those two fourth stage spirit treasures were enough to greatly improve his strength so that he could at least end in a draw when facing a martial artist at the Grand Master early stage. Although the second young master of the Ning family was Gudong Glai's disciple, in Jiang Han's view, it was just a fight among the younger generation. On the other side, Zhao Feng was still worried, because he didn't know how much benefit Ahu would get from the two fourth stage spirit treasures. After coming back to his own room, Zhao Feng entered the bedroom and dialed Wang Ming's number. Uncle Wang, tomorrow we will go to an open competition with Ahu. Do you have time then? I'm worried about him and want your help. Wang Ming readily agreed. He felt so happy that he replied without hesitation, I'm available, Xiao Feng, you can rest assured that I will be on time tomorrow, I'm going to prepare for it tonight. Wang Ming's cultivation speed was once very slow, and he only reached the heaven stage master level after a long close door cultivation, therefore, after he advanced to the grand master level, he was very willing to help others with his own strength, another reason was that he had been in contact with Jiang Han and his friends recently, they were all experts, so they gave Wang Zanping no chance to show off, as a grand master early stage martial artist, Wang Zanping was in a relatively low position in Jiang Han's circle of friends when it came to strength, so they settled the matter. At noon, Jiang Han and his friends went to the jazz restaurant on the top floor. 
The Peninsula Hotel they chose was located in the Bund, it had a long history, having the advantage of being next to the river, the day was Saturday, and lunch in the hotel started at 11.30, there were many kinds of dishes there, and the average consumption per customer was more than 1,000 yuan, Zhang Han and his friends entered the restaurant and sat down one after another in a row of four tables near the corner, and then ordered some special food. Although they ordered a lot of dishes, each dish was small in quantity, they were more like works of art, they could eat up a dish with a few mouthfuls. Meng Meng was thinking about going to Disneyland Park in the afternoon, so she began to eat faster. In addition to Zhang Li, Liang Hao, Zhao Feng, Liang Menkai, Ahu and Liu Jiren, Zif and a few other singles also went to the park with Meng Meng. During the lunch, Zhao Feng bought super VIP tickets for them to have fun all afternoon. Meng Meng was not against going to the amusement park, at all. She was in a good mood all the way. For safety reasons, she couldn't go to some of the exciting rides. Happy times always went by quickly, they had a wonderful afternoon in Disneyland. After dinner, they took a walk on the bund and went back to the hotel for a rest. During that time, Ahu received a call from Ningxi Ocean. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we meet on the hillside platform of Mount Dongxing. Don't run away or play tricks, or you and your friends will be punished for it. They are all in the Peninsula Hotel, right? Wow! Ahu almost burst out laughing when he heard this, then his face darkened. After I defeat your brother tomorrow, I'll break your legs and teach you a lesson. Ahu didn't hesitate to hang up. He was fed up with guys who could only curse without backing it with action, he felt Ninxi Ocean's threat was ridiculous. Dare you make trouble here? Do you know who's in the hotel? The Ning family is no better than the Lee family in Hong Kong, right? While Ahu was fuming, Liu Jiren came out of the bathroom wrapped in a bath towel, immediately attracting his attention. Aren't we going out to the movies? Do you want to make a movie? said Ahu like a goat. Yes. Liu Jiren's left hand was on the edge of the bath towel. The bath towel covered her good figure, showing her delicate legs and sexy collarbone. Ahu swallowed his saliva and stammered, Can we do that? We're not engaged yet. It's nothing bad. Liu Jiren untied the towel with her right hand. Puff. Ahu choked on his own saliva. Ha ha ha, you smelly rascal. How dare you say that after being scolded by your boss? Liu Jiren snorted. She was wearing suspenders and beach pants, just leaving the laces below her shoulders. It was also sexy for her to wear something like this. Ahu said frankly, I have a strong ability and I want to try it with you. Shut up. Liu Jiren blushed with shame and pushed Ahu out of the room. The movie is about to start. Go out so I can change. Ahu shook his head and left the room. He met Zhao Feng and Liang Meng Kai who had just returned, so he told them about the recent call and the location of the next day's competition. Ningxi Ocean's arrogance made Zhao Feng a little angry. It was ten o'clock in the evening, and nightlife had just begun. Ahu and Liu Jiren went to the movie theater, Zhang Li and Liang Hao went downstairs to the bar that was close by, while Liang Meng Kai and Zhao Feng went shopping. As those people were enjoying the night in pairs, Zif was lying in bed watching TV. Zhang Han was telling a story to Meng Meng with Xian in his arms, King of Dwarves and, after a while, Meng Meng fell asleep. There were no small beds in the hotel, so Meng Meng and Xian slept with Zhang Han, flanking him. When they were in the castle on the mountain, Zhang Han and Xian would go to the bedroom opposite Meng Meng's almost every other day but they had to restrain themselves during the tour. While his wife and daughter were sleeping in bed, Zhang Han was suppressing the four thousand clouds above his soul sense C. It was a quiet night. At 7.30 am the next day, the family of three got up. After cleaning up, they left the hotel and went to Disneyland with Zif, Zhang Li, Liang Hao and his sister to continue their tour. Zhao Feng and Ahu were left in the hotel preparing for the competition. At one o'clock in the afternoon, Wang Ming went to the hotel and drove them to Mount Dongxing. On the other side, 
More than a dozen men walked out of the Six Shores Martial Arts Club and went to the nearby motorcade. Ninxi Ocean and three young people got into a Bentley, cursing in a low voice as they walked. I'll show that poor bodyguard the consequences of offending me. Several of his followers echoed, yes, he is bringing about his own destruction. As long as the second master is there, that bodyguard will be beaten up no matter how powerful he is. Yes, the second master doesn't care much about these things, only a few people, including Brother Tan, are qualified to invite him. Dot. They obviously knew nothing about the world of martial artists. Ning Zanki, the second young master of the Ning family, and a middle-aged man with a long face in another car kept calm all the way. Marshal Brother Luo, I'm glad you're here, and I'll try my best in the competition this afternoon. Ning Zanki smiled. It's hard to deal with Jiang Han Yang. The long-faced man sighed and shook his head, but none of his men are competent. Someone in the martial arts world heard the news and people will surely be there to watch your competition. This time, we must do our best to show our strength and attitude without worrying about other factors, as our master said. I know what master means. Ning Zanki nodded. Chapter 566, Tense Situation I called my friend in Hong Kong last night and learned that Meng Meng security is very influential there. There are several very powerful members of the security group known as the Five Tiger Generals, but they are all green hands in cultivation and I'm sure you are much better than them. Elder Marshal Brother Liu briefed them about what he had found. Zhang Han Yang is even more famous there, but even a mighty dragon won't attack a snake in its own haunts. Our master is the best martial artist in Lin Hai and he has a good relationship with many sects here. They would definitely help him if needed, therefore, it is likely that Jiang Han doesn't dare to challenge our master even if you kill Ahu in your conflict. But in my opinion, you'd better spare Ahu's life and keep a way open for yourself to retreat. What he didn't tell Ning Zanki was that Jiang Han Yang was known as Merciless Jiang in Hong Kong, which had been proven by his record of never failing and the blood of his rivals, besides, Jiang Han Yang was not a man to be trifled with and he had destroyed the long history of the Li family to prove it. In fact, he didn't want to provoke Jiang Han Yang, but he failed to persuade Ning Zanki, who had made up his mind to do so. Compared with his martial brother, Ning Zanki was easy to act on impulses when handling things. As Brother Luo had expected, hearing his words, Ning Zanki smiled and replied in a casual way. Brother Luo, your words make sense, but it will depend on his attitude. Brother Luo sighed silently. He knew that being a stubborn, arrogant and conceited young man, Ning Zanki would avenge Ningxi Ocean, who had been punished by Ahu, even if Ningxi Ocean was known as a man of bad conduct. Ning Zanki had initially planned to test Ahu's strength, but it turned out that Ahu was Jiang Han Yang's man from Meng Meng security. Ning Zanki was so excited that he regarded the battle as a must, what was more, he even wanted to kill Ahu and provoke Jiang Han Yang, who was believed to be a coward in front of his master. After knowing all this, Brother Luo gave up persuading Ning Zanki because he never interfered in the way of others. However, he decided to help Ning Zanki, his martial brother. Before getting in the car, Brother Luo summoned a long saber and handed it to Ning Zanki. As a precaution, you can use my soul suppressing nine rings saber in the battle, he said. The nine rings saber was a kind of ring saber that had an ordinary shape, but its blade was thicker than normal, with nine iron rings on the back of the blade. The tip of the blade was flat, not protruding forward. Its handle was slightly thin and had a large curvature with a saber ring behind it. The rings were specially made by a master at the request of Brother Luo, when the saber was waved. All the nine iron rings emit a sound that would shock one's soul. It was a weapon of great lethality, and also a heaven grade treasure, which was favored by Brother Liu O. Oh. Ning Zanki's eyes lit up as he took over the saber and acclaimed, What a good saber! I know that Brother Liu O's soul suppressing nine rings saber is powerful. Thank you, Brother Liu O. Oh. Brother Liu O oh slightly shook his head. At this time, the two disciples of the same sect echoed, 
I'm afraid that Ahu will turn from a tiger to a cat the moment he sees this soul suppressing nine rings saber, he will be defenseless against it, ha ha ha, yes, how dare he challenge our junior brother Ng, he's just a martial artist who has just reached the heaven stage, he will be killed this time, however, Ning Zankai sighed after hearing their words, alas, what's wrong, junior brother Ning, are you worried about this battle? You can rest assured after knowing what our master said. Said a martial brother with flat up haircuts that patted Ning Zanki's shoulder. Another thin martial artist added. Besides, we have Brother Luo here to keep you safe. Brother Luo smiled and said, It is most likely that Junior Brother Ning will win the battle, and I'm not worried about it, but I'm afraid that Jang Han Yang will come here, so you should spare Ahu's life, Junior Brother Ning. Got it. Ning Zanki sighed and smiled, I sighed because they may not have the chance to see the soul suppressing nine rings saber before he is defeated, the other two disciples of the same sect laughed because they believed Ning Zanki would definitely win the battle, they got in the car and drove to Mount Dongxing while laughing and chatting, Mount Dongxing was located in the west of the central part of Linhai city, it was near the river, and it had a pleasant scenery, the mountain was a little steep, which made it popular among some climbers, in the south of Mount Dongxing, near the downtown side of the intersection, there was a square under the flat mountain where many people were gathered, there were spiral steps on the east side of Mount Dongxing, and in the middle of the mountain was the place where they would meet, which was actually a large platform, there were many sports fanatics who went there for the scenery, however, there were six men in black suits standing guard at the foot of the mountain that day, stopping all the tourists who went to practice mountaineering, some tourists had intended to ask for the reason, but they were scared away by the bodyguards facial appearances, they left without saying anything except for shaking their heads, the scene continued until the appearance of five men, two of whom were middle aged and the other three were young, with calm faces, the bodyguards at the crossing stretched out their arms to intercept them, however, as soon as the leader raised his arm, he suddenly felt that there was a lot of force on his arm, at the same time, the middle-aged man with a flat-top haircut in front of him was staring at him, hiss. The leader hurried to step back and bowed to that man, this way, please. The five men walked forward calmly, and then two of them said, will those two masters be involved in the conflict? It depends on how influential their conflict is and it is likely that there will be a competition between those two masters, Gudong Lai, he's very strong, although he hasn't reached the divine realm stage yet, he is even better than divine realm martial artists in strength with the help of his fire blade, the leading middle aged men looked up at the mountain and sighed, but merciless Jiang has suppressed north tiger Ge Ik Sing Kong, who had the dragon tiger spear, a divine weapon, and I'm afraid that Jiang Han Yang is more likely to win the battle, but they may not get involved in the conflict at all. Not necessarily. Another middle-aged man shook his head, Gudong Glai is a local tyrant and he may not tolerate such a talented martial artist in his territory. Ha ha. That middle-aged man with flat up haircut sneered. He was sneering at Gudong Glai. Gudon Glai was respected by some martial artists because the world lit was closed and there were few masters at the divine realm stage who could easily defeat Gudon Glai. It could be described as when the tiger is away from the mountain, the monkey proclaims himself king. At first, Gudon Glai didn't dare to do too much, but he became more and more domineering after the world lit closed. There were many people suffering because of him, yet they didn't dare to provoke him. The arrival of the five seemed like a beginning. Soon, those who were alone, in twos or threes, and seven or eight went to Mount Dongxing one after another. They also received the news of that competition between the young generations in the martial arts world. However, the news were not specially advertised so it didn't spread widely, and there weren't many people who knew about it. Only fifty to sixty people went to the mountain. 80% of them were martial artists, while the rest were mainly ordinary people who followed the martial artists to watch the war, they had already found a suitable place to watch the battle on the hillside platform in advance and started to talk about it in a low voice, 
all of a sudden, someone shouted in excitement in the crowd, Second child Ning is coming. The man near him is Liu Fang, the first disciple of Grand Master Gu, right? Since Liu Fang is here, I'm sure that Grand Master Gu has already heard about this, let's wait and see. The man behind them is Ning Xiaoshan, he is more arrogant, and it seems that this conflict was caused by him. Dot. Hearing the discussion of those at the edge of the platform who were looking at the scenery below, those in the inner side were curious about how many people had shown up that day. Soon, Ning Zanki and his men went up the mountain, the discussion on the platform dwindled with their arrival. They haven't arrived yet, are they afraid of me? Ning Ocean looked around and asked loudly, It's not the appointed time yet, let's wait for them. Liu Fang frowned and took a look at Ning Ocean. As a modest and humble man, he didn't like the arrogant Ning Ocean. Hearing Brother Liu's words, Ning Ocean stepped back silently with his friends before Ning Zanki could scold him. Ning Zanki was excited because of the upcoming competition. With three minutes to go, he still didn't see his opponent. Ning Zanki's face darkened. Why did you fail to keep this appointment? I'm waiting for you with my saber. A minute later, a light shout came from the edge of the platform, another group of people is coming, is it them? Although I don't know what they look like, this group of people seems to be powerful, it should be them. Under everyone's gaze, a group of more than ten people went towards them, when they took the first step on the platform. Swish, swish, swish. Ning Zanki greeted them with piercing look. Most of his martial brothers were wearing the same facial expression as him, except for Liu Fang, who was looking at the group of people, carefully focusing on Wang Ming. He's also a martial arts grand master, I wonder, did he come by Zhang Han Yang's request? The two people's eyes converged, and the atmosphere on the field suddenly became a little solemn, cold, even the temperature seemed to have dropped several degrees. They are brave enough to come here. Ning Zanki grinned, I'm not afraid of you at all. Ahu sneered at Ning Zanki, he was provoked by the previous call, he wanted to take revenge for his sufferings. Many people present gasped in fear after hearing his words. Now the atmosphere is very tense, what will happen later? Ning Zanki's face also darkened, he was thinking about how to kill Ahu. What did you say, you? Ningxi Ocean changed his face and began cursing at Ai Hu. Before he could finish speaking, Zhao Feng raised his eyebrows and moved his right hand. A stone appeared in his palm. Whoosh! He threw the stone, which was moving as fast as light, at Ningxi Ocean. The latter didn't even have time to respond, except to open his mouth in surprise. If he were alone, the stone would break through his head. Luckily, Grand Master Liu o was standing near him. Seeing the stone, Liu o Fang stretched out his hand and then clenched his fist. The stone exploded in midair. Liu o Fang frowned and said unhappily, It's not polite for you to attack an ordinary person. Ha ha. Zhao Feng smiled and shook his head. Then he took a step forward and looked at Ningxi Ocean indifferently. I'll kill you if you dare to talk nonsense again. Chapter 567 only three strokes. Zhao Feng disliked those who were arrogant and always talked nonsense, not to mention that he was reminded of what Ningxi Ocean had said the other day, therefore, he directly attacked Ningxi Ocean without hesitation. He wanted to warn the guy with this attack. Zhao Feng knew that if his master were there, he would have immediately killed Ningxi Ocean after hearing such words. Ning Zanki and his men were provoked by Zhao Feng's attitude. As for Ningxi Ocean, he was taken aback by Zhao Feng's piercing eyes and dared not to fight back with his words. Liu Fang, who had just blocked Zhao Feng's attack, frowned and turned his gaze at Zhao Feng. Don't overdo it, young man, aren't you forgetting where you are? What, where am I, isn't it Lin Hai City? Zhao Feng replied calmly, it's Lin Hai, but... Liu Fang's face darkened. It's Lin Hai City with the Gu family living in it, and we are all Grand Master Gu's disciples. Although you are a dragon, you'd better behave yourself in another person's domain. Who is more arrogant, me or your man? You know it better than me. 
Zhao Feng laughed, their conversation made the other onlookers more nervous. Even dozens of people standing around stepped back in a hurry. They were afraid that the two groups would suddenly fight as they spoke. While stepping back, some of them sighed with emotion, it turned out to be a battle, I had expected for it to be a real competition. Will the battle of Jiang Han Yuang's man and Gudong Glai's disciple turn into the battle of Jiang Han Yang and Gudong Glai? The whole Lin Hai will be shocked if they are involved in this conflict. They may not get involved in it, but I'm afraid these two groups of martial artists are going to have a battle. Who is more powerful? Both the groups have martial arts grandmasters and chi strength masters. Dot. While the others were discussing, Ning Zhangqi's face darkened as he asked, I wonder why you're so brave, provoking us in this place. You don't want to leave Lin Hai City alive, right? Ning Zhangqi's martial brothers echoed, Let's teach these arrogant guys a lesson. Liu Fang looked into Zhao Feng's eyes and said slowly, Young man, behave yourself before I become annoyed, even if you're working for Jiang Han Yang. The two groups of martial artists were quarreling like ordinary people, but each of their words was accompanied by different qi and sounded more frightening. Wang Ming, who was standing by, was impatient and waved his hand, who is the host of the competition, why are all of you talking? Okay, we're not here for quarreling, it's time for the competition to begin, otherwise we will all go back home. Wang Ming took a glance at Liu Fang and then continued. All of you are talking loudly, I wonder, who is your leader? Okay. Liu Fang took a few steps forward to show that he was the host, we don't want to talk nonsense, let's begin fighting as you hope so, we all know the battle regulations for martial artists so I won't introduce them, now let's begin, swish, 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 under everyone's gaze. Most of the people on both sides stepped back and stopped at the edge of the platform, leaving a battlefield with a diameter of 60 or 70 meters for Ning Zanki and Ahu. There was a distance of 20 meters between them. If someone kills in this fight he will not be held responsible. Now you can start. Everyone on the platform heard Liu Fang's words. He was unwilling to say it like that, but he was annoyed by Zhao Feng and decided to be tough. If they weren't so arrogant, I would have asked my martial brother to spare him, now it seems to be unnecessary, Luo Fang thought. Instead of stopping Ning Zanki from challenging Ahu, this time, he suggested Ning Zanki not to spare his rival's life, even if that man was working for Jiang Han Yang. For the moment, Luo Fang forgot that it was Ning Ocean who had caused such a trouble for them. It was reasonable for them to be biased toward the one on their side. A lot of things developed this way, when Liu Fang was making suggestions to Ning Zhangqi, neither Zhao Feng nor Wang Ming advised Ahu about what he should do in the battle, because they knew how powerful Ahu would be with the help of Jiang Han's holy level weapon. Ahu would definitely win the battle unless Ning Zhangqi also had two holy level weapons, which was not possible. Zhao Feng sneered, Ning Zhangqi was also sneering, when he was about to say something. He heard someone shouting from behind, come on, second brother, kill him. Several of Ningxi Ocean men echoed him, show your strength to those guys. How dare a poor bodyguard be so arrogant, dot. A tang sword appeared in Ning Zanki's hand and he slowly drew it from its scabbard, glang. The metal friction sounds seemed to ring in everyone's minds. Ning Zanki said slowly, the saber is called Tang Thorn. Although it's just a profound grade weapon, I have been using it in the past several years to practice saber skills and fight against my rivals, it has been stained by the blood of five chi strength masters, and you will be the sixth, damn it, it's so frightening, Ahu shouted and stretched his right hand forward, all of a sudden, a two meter long black iron stick appeared in his hand and he said loudly at the same time, it is just an ordinary iron stick that has accompanied me for more than one year and helped me to defeat many royals, you'll be the eleventh martial artist killed by me, and I forgot to tell you, this iron stick's named is dog beating, and all the dogs are afraid of it, Zhao Feng was amused by Ah Hu's words while feeling helpless, Wang Ming had a twitch in the corner of his mouth, 
Even Liu Fang's eyes couldn't stop shaking for a few times, because he knew that the proud Ning Zhangqi would be enraged by that remark, as he had expected. Under everyone's gaze, Ning Zhangqi's face darkened as he stretched out his long saber. You'll pay for what you said. Then Ning Zhangqi flashed towards Ahu without hesitation. Ahu held the iron stick horizontally in front of him. He grabbed the edge of the stick with his right hand and stabbed the stick straight forward with a spear move. Although the move seemed to be powerful, his skill was much worse than Gaik Sing Kong's dragon tiger stab. That wasn't because of the difference in strength, but because of their different understanding of weapons. Besides, Ahu just wanted to play a trick with the iron stick. Go to hell. Ning Zanki blocked the iron stick with his saber. Glang. In the process of the collision between the saber and the stick, because of the quality difference, the Tang sword left a deep trace on the iron stick. After Ahu's iron staff had been attacked by the saber from his right side, he took the opportunity to smash the stick at Ning Zanki from the top left. With the help of Ning Zanki's force, Ahu's iron stick had become so heavy that even if a car was there, it would be split in half by Ahu. The iron stick flew in the air making a buzzing sound. Ning Zanki decided not to block the attack directly, instead, he dodged to one side with the saber in his right hand, and then chopped at the stick to let it deviate from its original course. At the same time, Ning Zanki controlled his force and jumped half a meter high. Ning Zanki's right hand stretched out to the top left and took over the long saber from the back. His movement became faster and faster. Ahu quickly retreated two meters, at the same time, he held the stick with both hands and wanted to swing it towards Ning Zanki from his side. He hadn't expected Ning Zanki to change his moves so quickly. Ning Zanki's long saber stopped abruptly and then rushed towards Ahu's chest. It was moving so fast that Ahu stared at it seriously. It seemed that second child Ning was really a powerful martial artist. Facing the Tang Sword, Ahu stepped back in a hurry, however, Ning Zanki immediately raised his Tang Sword and forced Ahu to bend back to avoid his attack. Before Ahu could fight back, the Tang Sword was turned around in the air and again rushed downwards at him. The saber was moving so fast that there was less time for Ahu to resist it. Ahu's body tilted back again, at the same time, he held the stick with both hands and raised it up to resist the saber. Glang. There was a loud metal crash. Under everyone's nervous gaze. Crack. Ahu's iron stick was divided into two parts from the middle, while the Tang sword still moved toward Ahu's chest. Ahu's face changed but he remained calm, his body stretched to the right, making a strange gesture, and then he jumped three meters to his back like a frog. Instead of continuing his attack against Ahu, Ning Zanki stopped his saber and sneered, You are weaker than I expected, it will only take me three strokes to kill you. Clatter. Many onlookers were shocked by Ning Zanki's words, and they began discussing about it. Second child Ning is so powerful that he defeated this guy with just a few moves. Of course, he is Grand Master's last disciple so he's learning all his saber skills, he's a promising young man among those at the same stage. While the others were talking, Liu Fang and Ning Ocean also exchanged some opinions. Did you see it, my second brother is a powerful martial artist, that guy has to be killed today. Ning Ocean gave Ahu a fierce look. His followers began echoing him, even Liu Fang nodded his head. If Ahu showed all his methods and skills, junior brother Ning will kill him within three moves. Two moves are enough. If he uses Wind Blade, it will take him only one move. The other two Elder Marshal brothers also made their own guesses. Even 80% of the onlookers shared the same view, believing that Ning Zanki's strength far exceeded Ahu's. However, Zhao Feng and Wang Ming on the other side were not worried about Ahu at all. Liu Fang kept an eye on them, so he felt it was strange. What's wrong with them? Don't they care about the safety of their teammates at all? As for Ahu, he was annoyed yet amused by the onlookers' discussions and burst out laughing. After a while, he looked at Ning Zanki and said, Able to kill me within three moves? You are really good at bursting, 
you'd better let them call you three moves Ning instead of second child Ning. Ning Zanki was seething, as the second young master of the Ning family and Gudon Glai's disciple, he had never quarreled that way before. Ahu had struggled in the underground world for many years and learned many special skills from different kinds of people, which couldn't be obtained by Ning Zanki. I will kill you. Ning Zanki again rushed at Ahu with the saber in his hand. This time, Ahu didn't dodge, instead, he met Ning Zanki's attack with the two short sticks in both of his hands. At the same time, he started to use the methods and fighting skills Jiang Han had taught him. He combined those skills and methods, which made his movements more changeable and the angle of attack more unpredictable. Ten seconds later, Ning Zanki's face changed. Brother Luo and the others were stunned. What's going on? They were shocked by Ahu's performance. At first, Ahu's moves looked powerful, but he was as clumsy as an elephant in their eyes, at the moment. The series moves performed by him were like a fish swimming in the water. He kept speeding up his moves and then slowing them down, making them unpredictable. Chapter 568, The Powerful Demon Dancing Sword. Damn it. Why, how did he suddenly become so flexible? Ning Zanki gradually felt nervous in the battle against Ahu, and he kept stepping back, waving his saber at a high speed to fend off Ahu's melee attack. However, he had yet to touch Ahu, all he could do was to resist his two short sticks. Ning Zanki was shocked and annoyed by Ahu's change. The onlookers around were also astonished by Ahu's performance. No wonder he dared to challenge second child Ning, he is actually a talented martial artist. He was suppressed by Ning Zanki when he was using the whole stick. Now, after his long stick was broken, he has turned the tables completely. It seems that he's not good at using a stick at all, right? No, said the middle-aged man who took the lead among the first five people, while speaking slowly and keeping a serious face. That man from Meng Meng Security doesn't major in stick skills, instead, he is good at fighting at close quarters like the way he is doing now, but his skills were restricted by the length of the iron stick at the beginning. Have you seen his postures, actions and angles of attack? They seem so natural, he must be good at controlling his moves. Yes. The middle-aged man with flat up haircut shook his head. But all of these methods and skills give him only a superficial advantage, they're not enough to defeat Ning Zanki, as long as Ning Zanki manages to get rid of him and use Grand Master's moves, the situation will soon be reversed, except for those two middle aged men, most of the onlookers were staring at the two fighters with glowing eyes and admiration, about 90% of the martial artists present were below the heaven stage master level and most of them hadn't even reached the Chi Strength Master stage yet, only the first middle-aged man with a flat-top haircut could count as a Grand Master. In fact, there were not many onlookers present, most of them were low-level martial artists, therefore, they were all stunned by the two fighters' dazzling performance. On the other side, Zhao Feng nodded at Ahu, who was enjoying his battle, he has made more progress than a few months ago. It also seems that he has practiced regularly during this period. As long as they kept practicing the body refining methods, their physical qualities would be continually improved. The speed of improvement wouldn't slow down until they reached the martial arts grand master stage. Ahu is a talented young man. Wang Ming smiled and nodded, you all have a good understanding of martial arts and have been progressing quickly, I admire you very much. No no no. Zhao Feng shook his head and said, it's all thanks to our master's help, otherwise we wouldn't have entered the martial arts world yet. Don't say that because all of us have gotten benefits from Han, Wang Ming curled his lips and continued, I would have stopped at the heaven stage if it wasn't for Han's aid. Zhao Feng smiled because what Wang Ming said was the truth. Our boss is the best, Leng Yi said. Leng admired Jiang Han so much and regarded him as an immortal and a brother, while he was strong and even almighty, he was extremely affable and approachable. Wang Ming nodded to agree with Leng Yi. He's like a monster, I haven't seen anyone so talented before. Jiang Han was good at making immortality pills, 
forming arrays and defeating his enemies with different kinds of methods and countless trump cards, all the security group members and the Wang family members, including Wang Ming, admired Zhang Han. All of a sudden, Wang Ming stopped speaking and turned his gaze to the battlefield. Ah who will be in trouble? Zhao Feng slightly raised his eyebrows and looked at the two fighters carefully. He saw something exciting. Ah who stepped forward and soon squatted down before Ning Zhangqi's sweeping blade could reach him. At the same time, he crossed the two sticks in his hand and swept them forward at Ning Zhangqi's legs. You've been fooled. Ning Zhangqi grinned and suddenly turned his sweeping tang sword vertically, which fell towards Ah Hu's right arm. The twinkling light on the blade made everyone's pupils slightly shrink at that moment. You won't be able to dodge this time. Ning Zhangqi had endured Ah Hu's attacks for a long time before he found an opportunity to make this move. He was sure that he would cut off Ah Hu's right arm with his move. I don't need to dodge. Ah Hu stared at Ning Zhangqi. Without even moving his right arm, Ahu began attacking Ning Zhangqi's crotch with an upward move of the short stick in his left hand. It seemed as if Ahu were desperate and decided to exchange his body part with Ning Zhangqi's. Both sides would suffer great losses this way. At that moment, many people felt cold on their backs and their crotches. Even Ning Zhangqi's face darkened. Are you mad? Of course. He didn't allow or accept the damage to his important body part, so he could only give up the attack, retreating five meters and looking at Ahu angrily. Ha ha. Ahu stood up slowly with the short sticks in both hands and sneered, Are you close to the martial arts grandmaster's stage? Why are you so weak? I've just reached the heaven stage and it's easy for me to defeat you. You are really good at bursting. You. Ning Zhangqi gritted his teeth angrily and nodded his head with great force. Okay, I don't need to spare your life now, I'll show you my real strength. After that, Ning Zhangqi threw his tang sword aside, the tip of the saber was inserted in the ground, and most of the saber's body was exposed. Swish. Something was glowing in his hand. A huge long saber suddenly appeared. It was majestic looking and several times broader than the previous Tang sword. Many of those present were surprised, including that Grand Master with a flat top haircut, the soul suppressing nine rings saber, Grand Master Luo's weapon. My gosh, the soul suppressing nine rings saber will mark the end of the battle. Many onlookers began to discuss about it. On the other side, Wang Ming and Zhao Feng still remained calm. If he tries to win the battle by means of changing his weapon, I'd rather see more of his methods and skills performed by his tank sword, Zhao Feng said indifferently. If Ning Zhangqi had won the battle without changing his weapon, or at least forced Ahu to summon his golden armor, Ning Zhangqi would have been praised as a hero. However, he's too young to understand the spirit of martial arts. Zhao Feng slightly shook his head. Wang Ming and the others also believed that the battle would end. A third stage spirit treasure wouldn't cause much trouble to Ah Hu. But Ning Zhangqi didn't know it. Believing that he was sure to win the battle, Ning Zhangqi slightly shook the soul suppressing nine rings saber in his hand, enjoying the crisp sound of the iron rings hitting the blade. I'm the last disciple of Grand Master Gu, while you are merely a bodyguard unqualified to talk with me. Ning Zhangkai was annoyed, a green hand in the martial arts world such as you, I'll kill you with just one move, whoosh. After saying like that, Ning Zhangkai waved the long saber in his hand and drew two circles at his left and right side in the air. A light golden pattern was formed around Ning Zhangkai's body. Ning Zhangkai raised his weapon above his head and roared, wind blade, as he chopped at Ahu with the saber. All the golden light surrounding the blade followed his spiritual force and flowed forward, which looked like a wave blown by the wind. Clang, clang. At the same time, the soul suppressing nine rings saber was activated, and the nine iron rings collided on the body of the saber, making a harsh sound. The first round of soul attacks were approaching Ahu along with the sound. Many onlookers were frightened and couldn't help holding their breaths. The real battle begins. On the other side, Luo Fang nodded upon seeing Ning Zhangqi's new weapon. 
Junior Brother Ning has thoroughly understood the move and it is enough for him to kill Ahu with my nine rings saber. Many people turned their gazes at Ahu, who was standing still as if being shocked and stunned by the soul attack. Windblade's golden light was about to touch Ahu, he would be killed if he failed to dodge the attack. Did he give up protecting himself? All the onlookers were surprised. Under their gazes, that golden light approached Ahu. Ning Zanki was smiling, about to cheer for his victory. However, at the next moment, a lot of people opened their eyes widely in disbelief. A dazzling golden light twinkled on Ahu's body. Clatter. The wind blade landed on Ahu, but it just made a faint and dull sound. The light soon dissipated. In its place, the man was still standing there, but something was different from moments before. A set of golden armor appeared and wrapped Ahu. A holy level golden armor? Liu Fang narrowed his eyes in astonishment, and then asked, How can we continue to compete with him? As far as he could see, Ahu had already won the battle since the moment he took out the armor. When he was about to say something to Ning Zanki, he heard him roaring, I will destroy your armor. After that, Ning Zanki rushed towards Ahu. However, he took five steps forward to later stop abruptly and take tens of steps back. His body movement was accompanied by the sound of gasping in fear from the crowd. Under their gazes, a long sword suddenly appeared in Ahu's hand, which they were not familiar with. Ahu held the hilt in his right hand and pulled out the long sword with a clanging sound. The dark body of the sword and its mysterious breath made many people think of a name, which was said by Luo Fang, whose face was darkened. Demon Dancing Sword. The holy level weapon. I'm coming. Ahu drew out the sword and directly began attacking Ning Zanki with it. Ahu couldn't use as much of the demon dancing sword's energy as he wanted, so he kept fighting against Ning Zanki, who had been stepping backward. Luo Fang, on the other side, got more nervous each time he heard a new collision sound. Don't damage my nine rings, Saber. At a time when the fighting was becoming fiercer, Mugs was stepping on a helicopter on the tarmac in a villain area not far from Mount Dongxing. When the helicopter was about to take off, her face suddenly changed. Ha ha ha, is someone using my demon dancing sword in a battle? Mugs sneered, I'll give you a surprise. All of a sudden, she sat cross-legged, making a casting gesture with her eyes closed. Ten seconds later, she opened her eyes and the whites disappeared. Come out. Demon Chi. Swish. After a while, Mugs' eyes were back to normal. Let's go, she said. After the helicopter took off, she looked at Mount Dongxing and murmured, Zhang Han Yang, when I go to get the demon dancing sword, I will make you a slave forever. On the viewing platform of Mount Dongxing, Ahu had been suppressing Ning Zanqi, who struggled to counterattack desperately, knowing that there was no hope for him to win the battle. Bang! Ning Zanki couldn't bear the impact force and fell onto the ground. Ahu raised his sword again and attacked Ning Zanki. When Ning Zanki tried to block it with his remain strength, Luo Fang was about to join in the battle and save him. He knew that junior brother Ning could only resist one of those attacks. Surprisingly, Glang. As everyone witnessed, the demon dancing sword chopped at the Nine Rings saber, making a loud noise. However, Clatter. The dark body of the demon dancing sword suddenly glowed, and a plume of black fog appeared, turning into a circle with a diameter of five meters, like a palm. Bang! It slapped at Ahu. Damn it! Ahu was startled by the sudden change and had a sense of crisis. He hurried to flash back for several meters and stared at the sword in front of him. What happened? Why did the demon dancing sword become so frightening? Chapter 569 The Uproar Ahu couldn't understand the situation. He just swung his sword down very hard, intending to strike seven times in a row. But after the first strike, something unexpected happened. Does the demon dancing sword have its own consciousness? No wonder it was regarded as a holy level weapon. How amazing it is. Ahu shook his head and felt a little dizzy, he thought that the holy weapon was very powerful. The vast majority of those present thought so. Is this the power of the holy level weapon? It's too powerful, 
just this breath makes me feel as cold as if I had fallen into an ice cave, I don't know if second child Ning can resist this move, it's a little difficult, maybe second child Ning will suffer a minor injury, many people were discussing, Ningxi Ocean was the most nervous among them, he kept staring at the battlefield covered with black fog, gulp, after swallowing, he murmured, my brother will be safe. The three friends beside him were also stunned, they had seen the battles among martial artists, but it was the first time for them to see such a high level battle, as for Zhao Feng and Wang Ming, they were both surprised, still, they were not worried, even if that happened, it had nothing to do with them, they just wanted to know whether Ning Zhangqi would have an accident or not, and whether he could block that move. But Wang Ming was confused by the power of Ahu's move. How could that holy level weapon attack someone on its own, it's so strange. While those on Ahu's side were not worried, someone on the other side was so nervous that he even held his breath. It was Liu Fang, the most powerful grandmaster on their side. He looked a little frightened, as if he had seen something terrible. In the eyes of outsiders, it seemed that elder martial brother Liu was deeply worried about his younger martial brother Ning. But in fact, the moment Ahu withdrew his long sword, Liuo Fang heard something unusual. It was a faint click sound like a metal fracture. Was it made by my nine rings saber? Liuo Fang held his breath in fear, worrying about his weapon. At the same time, he was very upset. Why did I lend my favorite saber to others? The others? Yes, for Liuo Fang, Ning Zanki was one of the others which also included all his martial brothers, Liu Fang was calm and reliable, but he was a selfish man, at the moment he only cared about his soul suppressing nine rings saber, just as he was nervously watching the battle, the black fog began to disperse from the edge, one meter, two meters, five meters, they soon disappeared from everyone's view, at that moment, Liu Fang's eyes were constantly widened and filled with red blood rapidly, Liuo Fang saw Ning Zanki lying on the ground without any vital signs, there were three pieces of blades on the left side of his body, on his right side, he still held the handle of the saber in his right hand, and there were two pieces of blades next to his hand, the soul suppressing nine rings saber was broken by Ahu's attack, Liuo Fang could hardly control his anger, at that moment, the other onlookers couldn't help but gasp in fear, was Ning Zanki killed, second child Ning was killed, oh, my gosh, there will be an earthquake in Linhai, it's terrible, the Ning family won't swallow the insult and humiliation silently, what's more, the Gu family is the Ning family supporter, so they will blow things out of proportion if Gu Donglai says something about it, how could second child Ning, the arrogant talent, be killed by that guy, many people couldn't believe their eyes, especially Ningxi Ocean, he widely opened his eyes and mouth as if his throat was caught, he couldn't say anything while he stared at the battlefield in fear, suddenly, he moved, he wasn't rushing forward to check Ning Zanki's condition, but stepping back, he was afraid that the other side would kill him due to dissatisfaction, he didn't want to die, one second, two seconds, three seconds later, the battlefield fell into a dead silence, there were no sounds in the viewing platform, dot. Damn it. Ahu's cry broke the silence, he took a few steps forward and looked at Ning Zanki carefully, how could he be so weak? He's seriously injured but still alive, Wang Ming approached them and said calmly, martial artists were often killed in competitions or battles, and only a few of them liked to have peaceful martial arts exchanges, seeing Wang Ming moving forward. Liuo Fang also walked towards Ning Zanki, several of his martial brothers followed him nervously, Ahu won the battle, Liuo Fang announced, he looked at the nine rings Saba sadly and then ordered his followers, take him back, yes, the three younger martial brothers hurriedly responded, lifting up Ning Zanki who was barely breathing, then walking quickly to the foot of the mountain, none of them paid attention to the broken nine rings saber, in their eyes, it had little value if it had been broken like that, Liuo Fang was so angry after seeing his broken weapon, 
He wasn't only annoyed by Ahu, but also angry with Ning Zanki. With a wave of his right hand, he took the Nine Rings saber back into his space ring, and then looked at Ahu coldly, You are so merciless. Normal martial artists might be frightened by Luo Fang's attitude, but Ahu had long been with Jiang Han and saw so many powerful martial arts masters. He wasn't afraid of Luo Fang at all. He was too weak, Ahu frowned and replied. Just as Luo Fang was affected by Ahu's provocations and was about to teach him a lesson, Wang Ming raised his eyebrows and said, You said that no one would be blamed for killing his opponent in battle, don't you remember? I can repeat it to remind you about your promise. Wang Ming was apparently warning Liu Fang. At that moment, the other people who were watching the battle retreated for several meters and stared at the field. They would be affected if they were close to the battlefield if there was a fight between the two martial arts grandmasters. Liu Fang's eyes twitched and then swept to Zhao Feng, Leng and the others, as if to remember their appearances. Finally he settled on Wang Ming. Yes. I said it, but Lin Hai is dominated by the Gu family, and Gu Dong Lai is Ning Zanki's master, you are shaming Grand Master Gu by doing this. His words resonated with many people present. It was true that the Gu family was the top family in Lin Hai, and Ning Zanki was Gu Dong Lai's disciple, that was to say, Ahu had tried to kill Ning Zanki in his hometown, are you kidding me? Wang Ming sneered. It's the first time I hear about such a theory, maybe you can keep your theory until the gate of the world it is opened, if you haven't been regarded as a fool then, ha ha ha. Luo Fang burst out laughing and then nodded, good, I'll tell my master about this, I hope you remain alive to leave Lin Hai. Luo Fang glared at Wang Ming and Ahu, and then he left with his men. Wang Ming was about to say something, but he finally gave up. He was afraid of Gudong Glai, and he didn't know if Jiang Han could defeat Gudong Glai in the next possible battle. After all, Gudong Glai was well known for his crazy Saba style, having become famous earlier than Gaik Sing Kong. Wang Ming had heard lots of his achievements in the world lit. Ningxi Ocean hurried to follow Luo Fang and leave the battlefield. They took the lead to go down the mountain. After seeing them leave, Ahu approached Wang Ming and whispered. Have I made trouble again? I don't know what happened to the demon dancing sword then, I just wanted to wave it downwards in a normal way. It doesn't matter even if you killed him, we are from Meng Meng security and represent our master in social activities, no one is allowed to challenge us, Zhao Feng said seriously. Xiao Feng makes sense. Wang Ming nodded, we are serving under the same force, we can't always tolerate provocations from others, nor give them chances again and again, they would deserve punishment, as long as we remain rational while judging their deeds, as for the matter today, it was their fault and Ahu was tolerant enough, not killing Ning Zanki after injuring him. Ah, was I tolerant? Ahu scratched his head, I'm also confused about that attack. Although Ning Zanki was badly injured, they can still save him with some valuable medicine. But Ning Zanki's martial arts foundation will be destroyed, it will take him a long time to rebuild it. Let's stop talking about it and go back to report it to Han, he will know how to deal with this matter. Wang Ming took the lead to go down the mountain, and he saw Luo Fang leaving at high speed on the way. Alas! Zhao Feng sighed with emotion. My master is not interested in such matters, he will probably just say I see you when I report it to him this evening, maybe. Wang Ming smiled and shook his head, although he seems to have no interest in it, he will come up with a solution. Dot. As they spoke, they went down the mountain. Tens of martial artists were left behind by them, looking at each other in confusion. They were silent at first, and then went into an uproar like a volcano. Wow, second child Ning was seriously injured, the conflict between Merciless Jiang and the Gu family, the number one family in Lin Hai, it is amazing, that guy nearly killed second child Ning with one move, no wonder he is Merciless Jiang's man, Jiang Han Yang liked his staff so much that he gave a bodyguard to holy level weapons, it's unbelievable, there was a lot of discussion, 
the originally silent viewing platform became a noisy vegetable market, the martial arts grand master standing on the far left, that middle-aged man with flat up haircut, was also surprised, ah who had two holy level weapons then, even I would have been unable to resist if I had been ah who's opponent, ah who, Zhang Han Yang's man, badly injured Ning Zanki with the demon dancing sword, the news will soon spread in Lin Hai. The middle-aged man shook his head and left the mountain. Echoing what he said, many people took out their mobile phones to call their friends when they went down the mountain. What a pity that you didn't see the battle today, it was amazing, even Grandmaster Luo's nine rings saber was broken. Ah Liu, I saw a wonderful battle today, second young master of the Ning family was almost killed, and I'm afraid he will never recover. Dot. The news spread out quickly. The martial arts world in Lin Hai was not large, and all the big families and their martial artists soon received the news. Mount Donglai. It was located in the eastern side of the north district of Lin Hai. It had a pleasant scenery close to the bay. That was the location of the Gu family manor. The ancient family's luxurious residential area was at the foot of the mountain, where there were many kinds of single family villas. However, there was no way to reach Mount Donglai in the villa area, only dense forests and steep roads. Mount Donglai was the place where the elder of the Gu family lived, the place near the bay cliff at the top of the mountain was a blessed region and the density of spiritual chi there was several times higher than in the urban area, which could be used for daily cultivation. Therefore, Gu Donglai had built a quadrangle there, naming the place Mount Donglai as if it were his private estate. The road to the top of the mountain was on the south side, and cars could be driven halfway to the mountain top, there were some martial arts houses which were also for their cultivation, the visitors would need to walk up on the rest of the way, at the moment, Luo Fang and several younger martial brothers are walking up the mountain quickly, Luo Fang was in a bad mood, while his junior brothers were carrying Ning Zanki behind him. It took five minutes to reach the top of the mountain from the hillside, in front of the iron door of the courtyard, Luo Fang adjusted his expression and hit the door with the iron ring of the door handle, just like a doorbell, making a clanging sound. He only knocked three times and then waited in silence. One minute, two minutes. Five minutes passed. A calm voice was heard from within, coming, yes. Luo Fang replied, opening the door and entering with his martial brothers. An old man was sitting in the middle of the courtyard while drinking tea, a good part of his hair was white, his facial expression didn't change when he saw the dying Ning Zanki. Master, junior brother Ning fought against one of Jiang Han Yang's men. Luo Fang said everything in detail, including what had happened after Ah Hu took out Demon Dancing Sword including Wang Ming's attitude and their words, of course, he exaggerated on purpose, Gu Donglai's face changed a little, that's what happened, junior brother Ning is dying and only you, our master can save him, therefore, I brought him back as soon as possible, said Liu Fang with a depressed expression, Gu Donglai took a glance at Liu Fang and replied calmly, send him back to the Ning family, hiss, Luo Fang's pupils shrank, he instantly started to sweat due to fear, in a low tone, he even made the request with a short instruction, which meant that Gu Donglai was mad, Luo Fang had been following Gu Donglai, knew he was actually a fierce man, to be in his master's company was tantamount to living with a tiger, three of Luo Fang's martial brothers had once broken into Gu Donglai house when he was in a bad mood and they were directly killed. Although Gu Donglai didn't always fight, he was also the kind of person who considered human lives as grass. Send him back to the Ning family, hurry up. Luo Fang turned around and ordered the other three martial brothers. Yes. They hurried out carrying Ning Zanki. After they left, Luo Fang waited for more than ten seconds before he took out the Nine Rings Saber, which was broken into several pieces. He asked sadly, Master. Can it be repaired? No. Okay. Luo Fang nodded and took back his broken weapon, Master. What do you think of this matter? Shall I release any news? Luo Fang raised that last question as he was about to leave. 
it's not the right time for us to do something, so just ignore it, Gudon Gly murmured, I will kill him after I thoroughly master this method, whoosh, Gudon Gly went back to the room in front of him, inside, there was a picture five meters long and three meters high on the wall, the painting was very old and shabby, with many lines on it, shining with a metallic cluster, it looked very mysterious and profound, Luo Fang in the courtyard walked out slowly and closed the door before quickly making his way down the mountain, by six o'clock in the afternoon, what had happened at two o'clock had spread all over the city, have you heard, the second young master of the Ning family was killed in a battle, yes, and the whole Ning family is shocked, Ning Hushin is angry, but he hasn't taken action yet, because that guy who killed Ning Zanki was Jiang Han Yang's man, that's just hearsay, in the discussion, a person familiar with the matter said, Ning Zanki lost the battle but he could still breathe, although he was seriously injured and dying, Luo Fang sent him back to Mount Donglai, but he was sent down again in a few minutes, he was still alive then, later he was sent to the Ning family's house in the western side, it is said that he died at the Ning family's gate, it's so amazing, I'm afraid the whole Lin Hai is shocked by the news, will Gudong Glai take action? The Gu family hasn't made any official statement yet, and we don't know how the matter will be dealt with, it seems that both the Gu and the Ning families are afraid of the merciless Jiang Han Yang, who hasn't appeared in front of us yet, the martial arts world of Lin Hai was also shocked, what was Jiang Han doing at the moment? He had just left a western style restaurant and was currently driving back to the Peninsula Hotel. Meng Meng had a good appetite today, are you tired? Zif sat in the co-pilot's seat and looked back at Meng Meng, yes, I'm tired. Meng Meng leaned beside Jiang Han and mumbled an answer, when we get back to the hotel, we'll watch TV and go to bed, said Jiang Han as he touched Meng Meng's hand, okay. Sister Yan, the TV station sent someone to discuss the specific process with us and determine one of the three songs, Zif said at that time, he has arrived at the Peninsula Hotel and is now having a tea break on the first floor, would you like to join me later, Deputy Operator Ma? Ziyan asked, yes, he is waiting for us. Zif nodded, let's go to meet him together, now that he came here. It would be impolite of me if I don't welcome him. Ziyan chuckled. Although Ziyan was currently popular, she was always modest, never acting as an arrogant superstar. That advantage was magnified after she started living with Jiang Han. After all, her husband was an immortal, who was even more indifferent to fame and wealth. Chapter 570 Determining the Program After arriving at Peninsula Hotel and parking the car, Meng Meng, let's go upstairs first, mom is going to meet someone here. Jiang Han left the car and then took Meng Meng out. Okay, mama, come back soon. Meng Meng held papa's big hand with her left hand, and waved her right hand at Ziyan who had just gotten off the car. Okay, mama will be back soon. Ziyan touched Meng Meng's little head. Sister, are you going to meet someone? Jiang Li and Liang Hao arrived, yes, we'll discuss about the song for the spring festival gala, said Ziyan and nodded, wow, you are marvelous, even the spring festival gala wants you, Jiang Li smiled, aren't you also a superstar now, Ziyan was amused and shook her head, Ziyan used to be very famous when she relied not on songs, but on movies and TV plays, this time, she returned to the stage with songs of the album made by her husband, although the songs in it were not original, it still showed that he loved her very much, Jiang Li was famous because of her original album, although Ziyan had never gone to the Star Moon Bar, she heard that each time Jiang Li was on the stage, the bar would be filled with fans, Jiang Li's audio visual works were very popular on the internet, even in foreign countries, in particular, the upgraded version of Faded had been widely praised in foreign countries, increasing Ziyan's popularity even more, I'm not used to it, last time I went shopping, I was surrounded by a lot of people who asked for my signature, that indeed reminded me that I was also famous, 
Zhang Li said excitedly. It's just a matter of getting used to it. That's what happens when you become famous. Your personal life is not so free anymore. Ziyan nodded her head and then shook it. But I'm different from you. I have your brother and I'm famous yet free. Well, Lilai, you can also be famous and free, Liang Hao said. As a martial artist, Liang Hao was confident that he could protect Zhang Li, although he was not as powerful as Zhang Han, he was able to keep Zhang Li's personal life free from the public. You talk too much today. Zhang Li rolled her eyes at Liang Hao and then entered the hotel with Zhang Han and Ziyan. After entering the hotel, Meng Meng again waved to Ziyan, Bye, Ma Ma, I'll soon be back. Meng Meng waved back. After saying goodbye, Zhang Han and Zhang Li went to one side of the elevator, while Ziyan and Zuf went to the right side. Leng followed them silently. Few people paid attention to her, a seemingly ordinary woman, but in fact she had amazing strength. She was on par with the five tigers in Meng Meng's security. According to instructor Liu, Leng was born to be an assassin. Leng seldom talked, but she always took care of Meng Meng's security like a big family. Leng used to be an autistic person, and only when she got there did she get recognition. She walked to the right side of Ziyan and Zuf. There were tables with screens at the inner side near the window, in which they could order some coffee, herbal tea, and other drinks. There was a man in the third seat by the window. He seemed to be in his forties. His natural curly hair was a little sparse. He was wearing a neat suit. At the moment he was drinking a cup of tea. When he saw Ziyan, he took a closer look to confirm her identity and then hurriedly stood up to meet her. Nice to meet you, Miss Zin Miss Zhu, I'm Ma Dafang. Nice to meet you, Chief Operator Ma, Ziyan and Zuf replied. Although Ma Dafang was a deputy chief operator. They called him chief operator to show their respect to him. Zuf and Ziyan had been in the entertainment circle for a long time and they paid perfect attention to those details. Sit down, please. Ma Dafang invited Zuf and Ziyan to sit at will. Leng Yi stood one meter away behind them. Ma Dafang beckoned to the waitress at the back. The waitress approached. Zuf and Ziyan ordered two lattes. Miss Z, thank you for choosing Lin Hai TV station this time. I heard that many TV stations have contacted you. Ma Dafang smiled. Maybe we are more predestined. Ziyan replied with a smile. Ha ha ha. That's right. Ma Dafang smiled and said, Uh, the accommodation place arranged by our TV station is the Rooksin Hotel. Miss Z, we couldn't take care of you on time and made you stay here. I hope you are magnanimous enough to forgive us, besides, we will reimburse Miss Z for all your expenses here when the New Year's party is over. Don't be so courteous, Chief Operator Ma. Ziff slightly nodded her head. After accepting the invitation, compensation and reimbursement were all normal processes. While they were talking, the waiter served them two cups of coffee. Ziyan took off her sunglasses and sipped her coffee. Then she asked Ma Dafang directly, you said you would choose one of my three songs, which one do you want? We have some internal disagreements on this matter. When talking about his business, Ma Dafang became serious. First of all, the chaser is very gentle and suitable for an elegant stage, the effect should be very good, but some of us think that the most beautiful expectation is very good and suitable for the atmosphere of the new year in both rhythm and melody. Finally, as for Fairy Tale Town, I'm very optimistic about it, because it's more childish and interesting, and we can show animation clips on the screen according to the lyrics, I think it's a good idea. We have some internal disagreements on this matter. When talking about his business, Ma Dafang turned serious. First of all, the chaser is very gentle and suitable for some elegant stage, where the effect should be very good. But some of us think that the most beautiful expectation is very good and suitable for the atmosphere of the new year in both rhythm and melody. Finally, as for Fairy Tale Town, I'm very optimistic about it, because it's more childish and interesting, and we can show animation clips on the screen, according to the conversion of lyrics, I think it's a good idea. Which one to choose? Ziyan thought about it. As they all knew, 
The reason why it was difficult to make a choice was that all of those songs were very good, with different characteristics and styles. I went to see the stage of the Spring Festival Gala, where the lighting and electronic screen are very good, but in terms of visual impact, I prefer Fairy Tale Town, Ziff said, we can play the animation clips on the screen and Sister Yan can put on a princess skirt, the performance would be wonderful. It's okay, we've put more money into the venue this year. Ma Dafang nodded. Ziyan thought it was pretty good after a short hesitation, so she quickly agreed. After chatting with the girls for a while, Ma Dafang stood up and said, that's settled then. I'll have someone design animation scenes for your song and we'll have a rehearsal tomorrow, after all, the night after tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Okay, I'll be there on time at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Ziyan stood up and shook hands with Ma Dafang. Then Ma Dafang left the hotel. Zif, Ziyan and Leng walked to the central elevator. There were six elevators in total, three on the left and three on the right. They pressed the elevator button. The elevator reached the first floor after waiting 10 seconds or so. Ding! At that time, the door to one of the adjacent elevators opened, and a line of four men came out, led by Ningxi Ocean. Ziyan, Zifan Leng had just entered another elevator, and the elevator door had yet to close. Ningxi Ocean was stunned and kept looking at Ziyan in the elevator to his right. Zoom! The elevator door was closed. Wow! Ninxi Ocean yelled and hurriedly pressed the elevator button, but the beautiful woman's elevator had already started to go up. Damn it! Ninxi Ocean shouted and knocked at the elevator door. What a pretty girl! Damn it! How could I miss her? What floor does their elevator stop on? They paid attention and saw the elevator stop at the ninth floor. It's the ninth floor. It's the floor of a luxury suite, so she is a rich lady. It's a pity that I didn't see her, said the man with yellow hair next to Ninxi Ocean. Let's go up and have a look, or should we ask at the service desk? Another man with flat up haircut suggested. No. Ninxi Ocean patted his neck and said, Are you in a supermarket? Let's go out and have fun first, I'll take you to the Rooksin Hotel where there are plenty of starlets. Wow, thank you, Brother Tan. The other three men grinned. It would be a wonderful experience for them to follow Ninxi Ocean and play with those starlets. If the second master wasn't badly injured, we would follow that pretty girl to the ninth floor. What a pity that we cannot even ask her name, said the fat man. He had also been stunned by Ziyan's beauty and couldn't even turn his gaze. That tall beauty's perfect figure, long and curly hair, big sunglasses, sexy red lips like willow leaves, it was like a picture. Bang! Ninxi Ocean struck his shoulder after hearing his words. Stop taking nonsense, it can't be spread out. Yes, yes, I know. The chubby man rubbed his shoulder and nodded repeatedly. Ninxi Ocean waved his hand and headed out. In addition to Ninxi Ocean, his three attendants also knew that second young master of the Ning family was still alive. Although he was seriously injured, he was saved by the old master of the Ning family, however, they had sent out the news about Ning Zanki having been killed, the Ning family was furious. They wanted the public to believe that the Ning family would not be bullied like this, and they would ask Jiang Han Yang for an explanation. But in fact, Ningxi Ocean knew some secrets, and because of them, he could continue to go out and have fun in that situation, after all. Ning Zanki had fought for him and was seriously injured. Moreover, the Gu family had become more and more domineering in Linhai during the past year. The Ning family was looked after by the Gu family but was regarded as a private resource warehouse by them. Such a thing had touched the nerves of the Ning family seniors. Maybe in some money or trade matters, the Ning family would give preferential treatment to the Gu family but they couldn't tolerate that all the martial arts resources in Linhai would be monopolized by the Gu family, in the room on the ninth floor. Meng Meng played in Ziyan's arms for a while, and then listened to Jiang Han's bedtime story as usual. No matter where they were, when the three of them lay on the same bed and listened to Jiang Han's story in a low voice, Meng Meng could fall asleep quickly. Although she fell asleep, 
her quilt always moved, accompanied by a faint snore. A few minutes later, Zhang Han picked up Ziyan and went to the next bedroom, turning on the soft light. Soon there was a faint murmur in the bedroom. The bedroom door was inlaid with a large piece of frosted glass. If someone passed by, he would be able to vaguely see Ziyan's long curly hair and graceful figure. She was like a female general on the battlefield.